want to welcome everybody. Say good morning to the Sheridan County Journal Star live YouTube stream. I'm coming to you now from the gym at Gordon Rushville High School as we are going to start the triangular here today. The first of three matches will feature the Gordon Rushville Mustangs and the Crawford Rams. Game two will be the Rams and the Hay Springs Hawks. And then the final match of the triangular will be Gordon Rushville and the Hay Springs Hawks. So buckle up, stay tuned here. We got all three matches. I know that I shared the link with everybody from Crawford and Hay Springs. So if you're tuning in from both schools, welcome. And we'll be bringing you all the action here today. Mustangs come into the matchup with the Rams at 1-5 on the season. 1-5 for Gordon Rushville. One mutual opponent between Crawford and Gordon Rushville has been Hemingford. Crawford is 1-1 against Hemingford, and Gordon Rushville is 0-1. That was the second game of the season for the Mustangs. They dropped that one. Mustangs won their opening match of the season against Kimball, and then they have lost five straight. One to Hemingford, one to Mitchell, one to Bridgeport, one to Shattern, and then Bayard on Thursday night was another with their fifth loss in a row. Of course, we've been over it before. If you're a Mustang fan, you know that there was a graduation of four seniors. Those seniors were starters for the Mustangs. Mustangs in a bit of a rebuilding mode here. A lot of young ladies with a lot of talent, but just getting some of their first taste of action in a Mustang uniform on the varsity side. Let me see here. Getting everything rounded up here. I've got an early start and a late night as we got back from, or I got back from Mitchell around 11.30 last night following the Gordon Rushville football win over the Tigers, 30 to 28. What a game that was. Mustangs able to get their first win of the season and to topple the Tigers for the first time in at least a couple years. I want to apologize if um, the screen looks a little bit dark. There is a light out right above me here at the gym. It's also flickering. Hopefully it doesn't cause like a, a strobe light effect on the camera. It's entertaining that it's not anyone's fault, of course, but the only light that's out is the one right above me. It looks a little dark on the screen. Hopefully it doesn't look too dark for you guys at home. As Crawford is finishing up their warm-ups here, Crawford is coached by Wacy Johnson. And they employ one, two, three, four, five, six seniors. Dolly Anders, Natalie Berry, Jasmine Dyer, Skylar Summers, Tylea Underwood, and Hannah Wasserberger are the six seniors. I'll be honest, I know some of the Crawford Rams from basketball, but I don't know how it all stacks up on the volleyball side of it. I know Natalie Berry is going to be in the middle of all of it. Natalie is an outstanding basketball and volleyball player for Crawford, and she's going to be in the mix, I'm sure. And we'll see what else happens as we go along. For the Mustangs, your leading hitters are junior A.J. McKimmy. She has 19 kills in the season and then followed up by Haley Johnson. The sophomore has 20, or I'm sorry, just ahead of her is Haley Johnson with 20 kills. They'll be the leading hitters for the Mustangs. Also watch out for Sky Towson, McKinley Grover, Emma Martins, and coming on strong as of late is Trinity Taylor. All of those young ladies are underclassmen, and they have began to have a bigger role for the Mustangs here, especially Taylor. Taylor's played quite a bit in the last two matches. She's got a lot of energy, still trying to harness all of that. But we'll see if she's able to give the Mustangs a spark here on the offensive side. Defensively, Brenna Hag will be your senior libero. Hag will be in the back row. She had a very good game the other night against Shadron. I think she had about 32, 34 serve receives and only two errors. They'll be looking to Brenna to pass effectively for the Mustangs here. It looks like, though, that Riley Schultz is going to wear the libero jersey for this match. Brenna in a regular jersey today. So we'll see how that winds up. Of course, Maddie Peterson, another defensive Player. She does some hitting, but for the most part, Maddie is there to help distribute and pass it around. And Riley, or not Riley, but Reagan Schultz, Riley's older sister, will be kind of the utility knife for the Mustang. She'll be all over the court. She'll do some hitting. She'll do some digging. She'll do some setting. And Schultz, uh, Reagan Schultz was a all-conference honorable mention last season along with A.J. McKimmy. Mr. Keith Mills, who also had a late night coaching the football team, now... 
here to do the announcing. You can't really see the flag there. Mr. Mills is going through the pleasantries. It looks like Crimson Huts is going to sing the national anthem. So she's down there in the bottom right corner of your screen. Crimson is a sophomore. National Anthem right now. Wonderful job there by Crimson Huts, as always. She does such a great job with the national anthem. And while there's not a huge crowd here tonight, it was pretty good applause. Let's get your camera recentered here and get you ready for action. Looks pretty good. First up, Rams and Mustangs in the first of three matches here today. If you're a Hay Springs fan, the Hawks will be second. They'll take on the Rams after this one, and then they'll play back-to-back, -back, of course. They are here. They're over in the stands there, getting resting up before their match. If you're a Crawford fan, you're going to see the Rams play the Mustangs and then see, then see the Rams play the Hawks as we are waiting on an official. And he's here now, so... early start and a little bit late, but here regardless. So that's kind of the delay as we get close to 9.06 here. Got a few people up with me here in the morning. If you want to drop a comment in there, go ahead. Let me know who you're cheering for. Let me know where you're at if you'd like. Would love to hear from everybody tuning in. Just remember, I am a Gordon Rushville broadcast. Of course, we, we uh, enjoy our friends in Sheridan County, Hay Springs, but, and of course, we enjoy Crawford too. But I am sponsored by Gordon Rushville businesses, so I will be maybe cheering a little bit more for the Mustangs or talking a little bit more about them. It's a team that I'm more familiar with also as I do a lot of Gordon Rushville games and not so many Crawford and Hay Springs games. So here we go. Cameras set up. Official is ready to go, and they're checking the rotations.
Looks like Mustangs are going to serve it. Reagan Schultz is back there serving for the Mustangs. Kyla Volgo is libero for Barrow for Crawford, Kyla Vogel. She's the junior. She wears numero cero, zero. As the Mustangs are going to run out Grover, McKimmy, Towson, Johnson, and Schultz. And then in the back row there in the pink is Riley Schultz, the freshman, going to get the start at Libero. As Schultz's serve hits the top of the net and does not go over, it'll be an error. And point Crawford to start it off. Schultz just about got it over the net, but it just didn't have about an inch of clearance, and it falls back to GR. Schultz gets her first pass. Nice pass. Grover's going to wind up. McKinley lets it fly. It's long. Point Crawford. Back to serve is Skylar Summers. Summers, the senior for Crawford. This time, Johnson gets a pass. Mustangs are going to have to send a free ball over. Vogel waiting for it, set outside to Barry. Barry winds up, it's blocked. Crawford does control, tip over, and Johnson with a pancake, but the Mustangs unable to get it back over the net, points Crawford. So the Mustangs with good defense there, but the tip creates the ball on the floor, and just like that, Crawford out to a 3-0 lead. Towson with the dig that time, or the serve received. Now we're gonna go over to Grover, Grover goes deep, out of bounds, 4-0 Crawford. So McKinley Grover with a swing that went too far and now a bump that went too far, and Summer's still at the line for Crawford. Schultz with the nice. McKimmy's going to let it go, back row, covered up by Crawford, and Mustangs with a nice block, and that one goes out of bounds, back to Gordon Rushville. So good defense. Vogel had to send it back and it went wide left. Point Gordon Rushville back to serve as Towson now. Sky floats it across. Vogel, tough dig. Free ball for the Mustangs off the serve from Towson. Now Grover lets it rip. Grover off the back row and down it goes. Point Gordon Rushville. So McKinley Grover with her first kill. First kill for the Mustangs. I will try to keep stats for everybody on kills and aces. That's about all I can do. I'll try to keep them for Crawford, too. Towson with another good serve. It dies, just kind of flutters. Block and down by McKimmy and Grover. The pair team up for the block. Send it to the floor, 4-3 now. Give credit here to Towson serving as it's kind of fluttering in there in between the rows, and it's really kind of given Crawford some trouble. And that's an ace. There you go, the serving continues for Towson. The sophomore has been lethal at the line at times this year. The consistency has struggled a bit, but when it does go over the net, it's been good. And there's another one, and down it goes again. How about back-to-back -back aces for Towson and the Mustangs on a run now, 5-4. Towson just putting enough spin on that and just the perfect distance. Dropping it between the two rows. There's another one. Vogel's ready for that one, but that one's not going to get across. And Crawford having a tough time with Towson serving. She's got three in a row. Mustangs have scored five in a row off Towson serving. That one goes a little deeper, but it's miss hit again. Four in a row for Towson. She is on a roll, ladies and gentlemen. Mustangs on a run. Towson, 7-4 now. That time Vogel handles. There'll be a set outside to Barry. Barry with the swing. Towson with the dig. It goes into the net, and McKimmy saves it. What a job by Schultz and McKimmy. Swing coming. Towson and Schultz are there. Johnson's going to wind up. Haley lets it go. Covered back row by Crawford. But down it goes. Vogel misread it. I might have hit the rafters. I don't know if you give Johnson a kill there or not. 
but it's a point for Gordon Rushville, and Townsend continues to serve. Vogel handles that one well. The junior, now a back row hit to Summers, and Townsend's there for the dig. Sky's going to send the free ball over. Set outside to Barry. Barry lets it rip. It goes long. Out of bounds. Now Mustangs with nine straight points, and Townsend still serving. Sky, the sophomore. Off the net, what a nice dig there. Or serve received by number 20. Let me see, that's Carly Lemon, and then give the kill to Barry as she went back corner. And it goes off Towson on a, on a good attempt, but Barry gets her first kill. Johnson reserves that, receives that serve, and once again, Schultz digs it out of the net. Riley now, back row, swing coming from McKimmy. McKimmy drops it in, A.J. McKimmy with her first kill. Trinity Taylor checks in now. Taylor getting some action. McKimmy, nice serve, dug out nicely by Crawford though. Swing coming, dug by McKimmy up into the rafters it goes, but Schultz hangs with it. Johnson sends it over, covered by Barry. Free ball coming for the Mustangs here. Reagan sets Grover into the net. The set took Grover into the net, point for Crawford. Reagan with the nice back set there, but just got a little bit tight to the net. Grover had nowhere to go. Point for Crawford now, 10-6. Tip by Schultz, down it goes. Reagan Schultz with the kill on the tip. Mustangs passing has been just a touch long. Now Brenna Hag is gonna come in to serve. The senior not wearing a libero jersey, but getting in here right now. Coach Campbell trying something new, and I like it. And Brenna does not get it over the net, so it'll be back to Crawford. And I, I like the idea of moving some young ladies around and trying some different things, because Mustangs have been in a bit of a funk here, start the season. Johnson sends the free ball over. Crawford unable to handle it. Point Gordon Rushville. When things aren't going well, you got to change it up. The Mustangs have the talent there, just haven't had the results they wanted. A lot of that is inexperience. They're gaining it quickly, though. Is that serve is going to be an ace for Johnson? Haley Johnson from the service line gets the ace. Haley doesn't have a bunch of aces this season, but gets one there. Mustang lead is now 6, 13-7. Johnson back row to Barry. Barry handles at that time. Riley Schultz waiting for it. Swing coming for Taylor. Taylor lets it rip. Out of bounds. Taylor just missed that back corner. Overall, though, very good there by the Mustangs is Riley Schultz with the great dig. Reagan, her sister, older sister, with the good pass. That one sails out of bounds back to Gordon Rushville. And Taylor wound up and was aggressive with it. Just went a bit long as the sophomore checks back out for the junior McKimmy. I also see AJ's little sister, Braylon, another freshman, has suited up. Set coming here. Swing goes long, out of bounds. Good communication back row by Johnson and Schultz. Mustangs. Wait, we got a tip. There was a tip there, I guess. So it's point for Crawford and give the kill to Carly Lemon. Lemon gets the kill off the tip. Swing for McKimmy. McKimmy rides into it. Back row dug by Crawford. Now a swing over here for Crawford. Schultz handles that one. Set coming to Johnson. Johnson with the free ball in the front row. Bump set. Swing. Back row to Schultz. Schultz to Schultz. Towson winds up. That was tipped. And give Sky Towson the kill as it goes off the block.
If you're watching at home and I say Schultz to Schultz, Riley is wearing the pink libero jersey. Her sister, Reagan, is wearing the regular jersey there, number four. Back row just missed from Schultz. It goes out of bounds, 15-10 to Crawford. Back to serve is Skyler Summers. Summers to Johnson. Johnson gets it over to Schultz. Now McKimmy winds up. AJ takes something off it. Great dig there by Crawford. Back row. Schultz, Schultz to Schultz. Swing coming from McKimmy in the middle. AJ down it goes. Big swing from the junior. McKimmy now with two kills. Towson hits the line. Oh my goodness, Sky with five aces. Wow, that was pinpoint precision there from Towson as she actually hit the line judge, but it hit, it bounced and hit her, I should say. Towson, another good serve. Vogel with the good dig. Free ball though for the Mustangs. Set, oh, and now Schultz is gonna go back row, covered. Swing coming from Barry. Barry lets it rip, and it goes out of bounds long. Gordon Rushfield gets the point. 18-10 now, first set. Of course, triangular rules is best of three. It's a race to 25. You got to win by two. Thousand into the net, her first service air, but you'll, if you're Coach Campbell, you'll take one air for five aces. And the Mustangs did most of their scoring with Thousand at the line as she's Provided some pretty tough serves for Crawford to handle. Riley Schultz, the freshman with the dig. Grover with the little push, covered by Crawford now. Swing coming, tipped up, and Schultz with the dig. Now Johnson's going to wind up. Haley lets it go back row. Covered up by Crawford, but a free ball coming for the Mustangs. Back row to Schultz. Reagan with the set, back set to McGrover. Grover fires it across, but too strong. Point to Crawford. Eighteen twelve now. Good dig there by Johnson. Now McKimmy's going to wind up in the middle. No luck there. Swing coming. Towson with the nice dig. Johnson's going to wind up. Back row, good cover there by Summers. Vogel, free ball to Schultz. Schultz, Grover's going to set this time. How about McKinley Grover with a set? And give Johnson the kill. How about that? That's a first. McKinley Grover with the set. Mustang showing that versatility. Nice serve there by McKimmy, covered nicely though. Trinity Taylor with the nice cover on the, on the quick hitter. Schultz to Taylor, Taylor winds up, lets it rip. Oh man, just a bit long. A lot of velo on that swing from Taylor, but She's got to get a bit higher and create that angle. 19-13 now, six point Mustang lead. Crawford is staying right there within striking distance. Johnson with the dig. Grover gonna wind up and hit in the net. McKinley's been off so far. A couple miss hits, that one into the net. Into the net it goes. Mustangs unable to get it back over. Point for Crawford. Now Crawford within four. Mustangs got to get the side out here. Got to find a way to stop it. That's out. Good read there by Gordon Rushville as it sails just over the line. And Brenna Hag's going to come in and serve. The senior. Did have an error the first time, looking to get it back on track here. And she gets an ace. Brenna Hag comes in, and the Mustangs needed that one. Their lead back to six. Brenna, who's been the libero, mostly for the Mustangs this season now. Coach Campbell electing to give Riley Schultz a chance. 
And Brenna Hag will go back to the regular jersey. Trying to make an impact, though, on the service line as she got the ace. Now, free ball coming for the Mustangs. Brenna Hag with a nice dig. Swing coming outside to Johnson. Johnson into the block. They're going to say it didn't go over the net. Point for Crawford. Good dig by Schultz. Reagan goes all the way over while she, oh, and Taylor miss hits it. And just like that, Crawford within four again. 21-17. We're running to 25 as Schultz with the dig that time. Set coming. Johnson with the push. Unable to get a swing on that one of the Mustangs. Tip coming. Brenna Hag covers. Swing coming for Taylor. Trinity winds up. And that time it goes down for Taylor. A big kill from the sophomore. Mustangs needed that one. Lead back to five. Johnson serving. Haley has an ace. Back row covered by Crawford. Swing. Oh, no, it's going to be a tip. Brenna Hag covers. Schultz with the bump set. Haley winds up. Mustangs get the free ball back. Swing for Taylor. Taylor too high, out of bounds. Trinity's got some power, but still learning how to harness it. Johnson. Set outside to Sky. Towson now. Towson off the block. Towson really creates a good angle. Schultz to Schultz. Towson winds up again. Another good job there by Sky. Riley had to go get that one. Sends it back over. Swing coming. Johnson into the net. Schultz tried to tip it, but it goes down on the Mustang side now. 19 to 22. Crawford within three. Timeout. Coach Campbell. So our first time out here in the first set, it's 22-19. 22-19, Mustangs with the lead. Bagan Propane is your local and family-owned propane supplier. They are proud to support the Gordon Rushville Mustangs and our area youth. Contact Bagan Propane at 360-3579 with any questions you have about how they can help with your propane needs. Strong Insurance has been serving the Midwest since 1932. Strong Insurance is your independent insurance agency. As an independent agent, we work with many carriers to offer our clients the best policy options available for their needs. We don't work for any one insurance company. We work for you. Stop in today at 224 North Main Street in Gordon or give Ben a call at 282-0560. I appreciate you tuning in. This morning, everybody who's on the broadcast with me, I've got about 35 people on board. A lot of stuff going on today, especially in Gordon. We've got the Willow Tree Festival going on down there at Winship and Wayland Park. What a great event that Gordon hosts, and what great weather for it. Sometimes you run into uh, some colder weather in September, but it's going to be warm, but it'll be nice. Taylor winds up, and Trinity sends it down. Mustangs get the kill out of the – I don't know if they gave her a kill for that. It was touched twice, but Taylor – Able to get the point for the Mustangs, and Riley Schultz is going to serve now. Her first time at the service line. Mustangs with a four-point lead. Trying to get to 25. Back row swing. Coming, and it's going to be Barry into the net. Mustangs now have set point. Willow Tree going on today. Going to have to go down and check that out after I get done broadcasting here today as Crawford... Going to send a free ball to the Mustangs. Short one. McKimmy into the net. Crawford gets it back now with a chance to make a run. 24-20. Vogel back to serve for Crawford. She's the little barrel. She goes deep. Oh, we got a... Oh, we got a... Service violation, I think. As Vogel stepped over the line, so Mustangs get the point. And they get the win in the first set. Kind of anticlimactic there, but the Mustangs are the benefit of the air, and they get the first set 25 to 20.
How's that look? Second set, GR one nothing. So the first set of the day is in the books. Crawford had two kills. Natalie Berry had one. Carly Lemon had the other. Mustangs, McKimmy, AJ had two kills. Reagan Schultz had a kill. Haley Johnson, Sky Townsend, Trinity Taylor, McKinley Grover each had a kill. The biggest stat line that really jumps out is the five aces from Sky Townsend. Mustangs with seven total aces, and Crawford had no aces in that set. Brenna Hag had an ace, and Haley Johnson added in an ace. So we'll take a three-minute break here. And the Mustangs will talk it over and get ready for set two against the Rams. Grocery Mart, your locally owned hometown grocery store, is proud to support the Gordon Rushville volleyball team. Stop down today to pick up all your grocery needs, including fresh meats and produce. Grocery Mart is open seven days a week at 228 North Main Street in Gordon. At the First National Bank of Gordon, we are invested in our customers' financial success. Celebrating over 130 years of service and commitment to our communities, we make all decisions in-house to meet your needs. Stop in to visit with one of our new account reps or lending officers today. Go Mustangs. Mustang Cross Country Middle School, or I guess Junior High Middle School, whatever you want to call it, and Varsity, Junior Varsity, all in action in Shadron starting at 9 o'clock. That also includes Hay Springs Cross Country program in action. They just have one young man running Varsity Cross Country but, um, and Junior Varsity. High school, I should say. And then they, I'm not sure what Coach Marcy has for the middle schoolers over there, but I'm assuming that the middle school's kids from Hay Springs will be running in that meet also. Girls golf competed on Tuesday and Thursday of this week. I have yet to get the results from that from Coach Morris. I'm sure he'll send them over sometime this weekend. That'll be in the paper next week. Of course, Gordon Rushville football with the win last night, 30-28. to 28. That, We had that on the broadcast over Mitchell. And then the Hay Springs Hawks went down to Arthur County and ran into a tough one with the Wolves on a hot 130 game, 95 degree weather at Arthur County. And the Wolves took down the, uh, the Hawks, I believe it was 46 26. Hay Springs 1 and 1 on the season on their football campaign. McKimmy has to adjust, sends it back row. Nice job by AJ to save that one. Swing coming, tipped up by the Mustang defense now. Schultz with the set. McKimmy with the swing. AJ lets it rip and down it goes. AJ McKimmy right where she left off in the first set. Gets the first kill of the second set. And Reagan Schultz now serving for the Mustangs. Barry will have to send the free ball back to Riley Schultz. Reagan will set over to Towson. Towson into the block. P covered up by oh, tough one there. A little bit of jousting at the net. Barry now will swing off the block and covered by Schultz. Reagan with the bump set now. Johnson with the back row tap. Covered by Crawford. Grover's going to set again. McKimmy lets it go. Barry trying to follow the volleyball here. Got quite the volley going. Tip took something off it, did Crawford. And they get the point. So the kill goes to number 10, Tylea Underwood. Underwood gets the kill. Schultz with the nice dig. And then Grover off the block and down. Give her the kill. McKinley with two now. Grover has kind of struggled to find her hitting groove, but maybe that's the start she needs. A lot of power behind that. Her and Trinity Taylor take some. Ooh, tough serve from Towson. Taylor and Grover take some big swings, but got to control of this. Towson will move to the back row there. Gets the dig. Now Johnson winds up. Haley, nice diving dig there by Summers. Back row to Schultz. Schultz now up to Schultz. Grover with another chance. That one's high. Back corner too long, 2-2 now is your score between Crawford and Gordon Rushville, set two. Reagan to Johnson. Johnson unable to really get that swing going here as Crawford's covered it. Tip coming, Schultz, nice job by McKimmy. And then down it goes off the left side. 
I believe that was from Barry. Mustangs unable to corral it. That kind of happened quick. I didn't get over there in time, but Natalie Barry with the kill as Riley Schultz unable to handle the swing. 3-2 Rams. Johnson with the nice dig. Now Haley will wind up, send it down, and it's tipped up and over by Crawford. Nice job. McKimmy tries to go back row, covered by Crawford. And that one goes into the net. Point for Gordon Rushville. Tied up, 3-3. Trinity Taylor in for Riley Schultz. McKimmy will serve. AJ with the good serve. It results in a tip. Mustangs with a chance here. Grover's going to set. Johnson into the net. Point for Crawford. And give the ace to Crawford. Barry gets the ace. That's Crawford's first ace of the match as it went off the back row of the Mustangs. 5-3 Rams. Taylor off the block, covered up by Barry. Free ball coming for the Mustangs, though, as Towson. And set coming to Johnson. Good set. And Haley off the back row and goes down. Johnson with the kill. Two kills for Haley now, as Brenna Hag's going to check in for Grover. And she's going to serve. Brenna had an ace. Last set. And Brennan with another good serve. It's going to result in a free ball for the Mustangs here. And Crawford's not even going to get it over the net. So Mustangs tied up 5-5. Beth Reeves is tuning in again. Beth, thanks for jumping on board. Appreciate you watching. Oh, wow, a bit of a lucky shot there. I couldn't even follow it. <clears throat> that was number six. Kyler Gortsema. And Gortsema just returned the serve back and dropped it right in between the Mustang defense for a point. Short serve, Riley Schultz comes up and gets it set to Reagan. Oh, we got a lift. Schultz fooled her with the tip. Give Reagan the kill as the lift by Crawford. I'm pretty sure you give a kill there on that one. I could be wrong, but... Johnson serves. Barry waiting for it in the middle. Swing coming here from Crawford, and down it goes. A good swing from Lemon. Carly's got two kills. Vogel goes back row. Johnson covers it. Schultz. Towson with the big swing, and down it goes. Sky Towson with the kill now. Two for Sky. We've got a couple Mustangs with two. McKimmy leads the Mustangs with three. And now Riley Schultz will serve. Brenna Hedge steps in front with the dig. Now McKimmy. Ooh, tough through the rafters. Crawford hangs tight. And then McKimmy goes up and gets it. Oh, nope, she was in the net. Point for Crawford is they're going to call a net violation. McKimmy went up and got it, but evidently got into the net. 8-7 now, Crawford, with the lead. Johnson with the dig. Mustangs, a little bit of miscommunication. They're able to get it over, though. Now Towson will have to tip with the left hand. And Towson hit the net. Point Crawford. Mustangs unable to stay out of the net the last two points. Results in a two-point lead for Crawford. And Mustangs unable to get it over the net. Point for the Rams.
Into the net goes that one. Mustangs, the beneficiaries of the service air. Now 10-8 with Schultz going back to serve Reagan. In comes Emma Martins for her first action. The freshman going to check in here as Coach Campbell really digging deep into her bench, getting a bunch of girls a lot of action. Good serve from Schultz. It's going to result in a free ball here for the Mustangs. Riley waiting for Reagan with the set. McKimmy winds up. Back row goes too long. Point for Crawford. Johnson with the service air. Results in an ace for Crawford. Carly Lemon gets the ace. 12-8 now is your score. Crawford with a four-point lead. Mustangs are out of rotation. Point for Crawford. Into the net it goes. Mustangs get it back. So the service air, the Mustangs' friend, as they are down four now, but sending Towson back to serve. Sky has five aces, two kills to this match. And she give her another one there. As it's going to be a lift on Crawford. 13-10. Towson off the top of the net. But Crawford able to sneak it in there in the back row. I think that was Carly Lemon. I missed the number on it. I was watching the ball land. Kill for Crawford now, 14-10. Crawford has been in control the entire second set. Back to serve is Tylea Underwood. Underwood goes back row. Schultz with the nice... A nice dig, but Mustangs go behind the antenna by Martins, point for Crawford. Back row to Johnson, Johnson there. Swing coming for Haley now, she's gonna tip it and drop it in, a nice job by Johnson. And she measured that one perfectly and got it to fall. Three kills for Haley and an ace. In the match, McKimmy now will serve. McKimmy with the ace. AJ was second on the team last year in aces. Hasn't had very many this year, but found one there. Short set, Taylor digs. Now Taylor with the left hand rolls it across. Nice touch shot from Taylor. Good job by Crawford to get there. Swing coming for Martin. She tips it up, or she tips it, covered by Crawford. Back row to McKimmy. McKimmy with the dig. Schultz sets out to Johnson, kind of a low set. Maddie Peterson now in, the senior. Taylor winds up off the block, covered by Crawford. Berry winds up and sends it down. Natalie Berry with the kill. So the black and orange win the volley, and they get the point. Taylor, free ball over. Set coming here. Swing tipped up. Peterson hits the deck and saves it. Johnson sends it across. Free ball back row to Schultz now. Reagan sets Martins deep. Point Crawford. Mustangs having a tough time. They've been some good sets, just miss hits. Too long. Maddie Peterson gets that one, but it's going to go out of bounds as Schultz unable to get there. Point for Crawford. Their lead is now six. 
Timeout, Coach Campbell, as it's 18 to 12 here in the second set. Crawford has jumped out to a big lead. The certified public accounting firm of Gardner, Lautzen, Heiser, and Ryan PC wishes good luck to the Mustangs. Visit with CPA Sarah Rickgarn or Mike Coombs or any of the professional staff at 216 South Main and Gordon or call 282-0842 for all your tax payroll and accounting needs. Go Mustangs. Fuel Grill would like to wish the best of luck to all the Gordon Rushville student athletes playing sports this fall. Whether it's before or after the game, Fuel Grill has all your needs covered for a night out from delicious options on the menu or your favorite cold beverage. Fuel Grill in Gordon. True Value in Gordon is having its annual Labor Day sale right now. Pick up all your fall lawn care essentials, including fertilizer, grass seed, and more. Stop by and see Buck and the gang at 217 North Main Street in Gordon. Sides of Milburn and Rushville is your dealer for Montana Sheds, Bad Boy Mowers, and they can service all makes and models of automobiles. No matter if you need a new mower, a new building, or some work done on your vehicle, they have you covered. Call Chris Heiser at 327-2472. 18-12, Mustangs won the first set, 25-20. Now Crawford trying to even it up with a six-point lead here in set number two. Mustangs dig that one out. Now Johnson's going to let it rip, covered on the backside by Crawford. Swing coming, Schultz with the dig. Now Reagan will set. Taylor takes something off it. And down it goes. Mustangs get the point. 18-13 now as Martins is going to serve. Nope, she's not. Out she comes. And Brenna Hag's back in to serve here. Barry with the dig in the back row. Set coming. Swing is blocked. And it's knocked back out of bounds as the Mustangs defense creates a point. Mustangs have played 10 players so far this match. Really trying to spread it around as kind of a fight over there for the ball, free ball results. And Schultz gets the kill, down it goes, Reagan Schultz. Recognized that Crawford was out of position. Used the tip to get the Mustangs within three now. Brennan Hag still at the line. Mustangs trying to get this one back tied up. And Brenna, oh, nice serve from Brenna. And she gets the A. She tickles the top of the net. And Crawford unable to return. Valiant effort there, but unable to get it back up. 18-16 now. Mustangs making a run. And nobody home. Brenna Hag with the ace as Crawford caught looking at each other. And Brenna with the hot hand now. This time she goes short. Covered by Crawford. Set and swing coming here. Mustangs cover though. Maddie Peterson back row. Now Maddie Pete's going to send a free ball over. She miss hits it. Back to Crawford it goes. Riley Schultz with the dig. Johnson winds up. Haley puts some pepper on that one, but covered by Barry. Now Barry with the back row swing off the block. Schultz is there. Now Reagan with the set. Taylor's going to wind up. Trinity Taylor to the floor. Good swing by the sophomore. Her second kill. Mustangs within one now. 19-18 as Sky Towson's going to come back in for Maddie Pete. Johnson serving. We got a lift on Barry. Point, Gordon Rushville. I don't know if you give Haley a kill there or not. I'm, once again, not a rules expert by any means, just a guy trying to do his best. Johnson. To Barry, Barry off, that one's a kill. I'm sorry, that's an ace. Goodness, that is an ace, not a kill, Scott. 
ace for Johnson as it goes off Barry's hands and timeout for Crawford as the Mustangs have taken the lead 20 to 19 here late in the second set. Gordon Chiropractic and Dr. John Friesman have been helping student athletes and residents of the Panhandle for over 20 years. Call Gordon Chiropractic at 282-1154 to make an appointment for all your chiropractic and acupuncture needs. Dr. Friesman and his staff wish the best of luck to the Mustangs competing tonight. Gordon Chiropractic wants to be a part of your team to get you back into your game, the game of life. Kreitman Trucking is a proud supporter of the Gordon Rushville Mustangs on the court, on the field, in the classroom, and on the stage. Like anything in life, hard work and dedication ends in success. Good luck tonight, Mustangs, from Kreitman Trucking. The Gordon Livestock Market would like to wish the Mustangs good luck this season with weekly cattle sales on Tuesdays and horse sales is advertised. Gordon Livestock has all your livestock needs covered. Call Tom or Patsy Tinas at 282-1171 to discuss your options today. A big thanks to my Star Club members, which is Larry and Danita Turnbull of Gordon, Nebraska, Vern and Sharon Johnson of Geneva, Nebraska, Dale and Shirley Atkinson of Gordon, Nebraska, Lori Liggett of Gordon, Nebraska, and multiple anonymous Star Club members. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. Johnson with the serve. Tough play there as the Crawford Ram is unable to track it down and it's gonna be a point for Gordon Rushville as the run continues. It was Brenna Hag first, then a side out. Mustangs got it back, now Haley Johnson on the run for the Mustangs. Barry with the nice dig there, set. Swing coming is partially blocked but it goes down so give the kill to the Crawford Ram, that was Carly Lemon. She's got three kills now in the match. Vogel to serve. Back row to Brenna Hag. Schultz off balance, unable to get it back. Point for Crawford now, tied up, 21-21. As we're in a good old fashioned barn burner here. Back row, Johnson gets it. Schultz with the bump set, nice set from Schultz. Taylor. Into the net, point for Crawford. So Mustangs with a host of net violations in this set. Crawford with the lead now, 22-21. Taylor off the block, covered up by Crawford. Swing coming from Barry and it goes out of bounds. Point to Crawford, Barry with the kill. Timeout, Gordon Rushville. Coach Campbell wants to talk about it. 23-21, Crawford making a push to have this go three sets. At the First National Bank of Gordon, we are invested in our customers' financial success. Celebrating over 130 years of service and commitment to our communities, we make all decisions in-house to meet your needs. Stop in to visit with one of our new account reps or lending officers today. Go Mustangs. Grocery Mart, your locally owned hometown grocery store, is proud to support the Gordon Rushville volleyball team. Stop down today to pick up all your grocery needs, including fresh meats and produce. Grocery Mart is open seven days a week at 228 North Main Street in Gordon. So after the Gordon Rushville timeout, Crawford searching for two more to make this a three set match. Vogel back to serve for the Rams. Brenna with the back row dig, and Towson's going to wind up. Vogel's waiting for it, though. And another net violation by Towson. As her hand hit the net, and we got the set point here. That one sails out of bounds, so the Mustang's still alive, 24-22 as Tr Taylor will check out. And McKimmy back in the front row and Riley Schultz now, the freshman, pressure on her shoulders. She sends it across, now set coming. Mustangs kind of get a free ball there as Schultz is there. Towson with the tip, covered up by Crawford. Set coming, but covered by Brenna Hag now. Bump set, Johnson swings, back row, Barry. Gets it to go across. Tip coming back and forth here. Tip again blocked by Schultz. 
Into the net it goes. Mustangs cover it though. Towson up against the net. Oh man, a whole sorts of stuff going on behind that referee. And nice job by Sky. Out of bounds it goes. Kill for Towson. Whew. Nerve racking volley there. As it is still set point, Mustangs need one here to tie it up to force the two point win. Crawford can end it. Set coming, but covered. Now McKimmy swings. Down it goes. Gordon Rushville ties it up. 24 24. Now, Mustangs got to win by two, or Crawford's got to win by two. Either team's got to push it. So we could, we're going to see extra points here for sure, at least one. Swing coming, back row, out of bounds. Good read by Johnson. And Haley communicates with her team and says out of bounds. Points, Gordon Rushville, timeout. Coach Wacy Johnson and the Crawford Rams as it's 25-24. Mustangs come storming back. Mustangs are being led by McKimmy. McKimmy with four kills and an ace. And then you have a host of Mustangs, three other Mustangs with three kills. Reagan Schultz, Haley Johnson, and Sky Townsend. Taylor and Grover have two kills apiece. For Crawford, Natalie Berry has four kills. Carly Lemon has three. Underwood and Gort Sema have one kill apiece. Barry and Lemon have an ace for the Rams. The Mustangs have three aces from Brenna Hag, one from McKimmy, two from Johnson, and six aces from Sky Towson. And that's the tale of the tape stats-wise. Granted, these are unofficial stats. These are me running a camera, a laptop, and rosters trying to figure out who is who. Also trying not to lose the volleyball, which I probably do too much. I'm sorry. Volleyball is actually quite tough to broadcast. Football is so much easier. And that one hits the net. Service error ties it back up, 25-25. Costly error by the freshman. And now Skyler Summers back to serve for Crawford. Summers has dug out. John, or that's Towson. Towson able to get a good swing on it, covered by Crawford. Now McKimmy's going to wind up. AJ down to the floor. McKimmy gives the Mustangs a one point lead again. Five kills for the junior. Martins is going to check in for Brenna Hag. And Schultz, Reagan Schultz, is going to serve for the Mustangs. Reagan drops it in. Good serve. Down it goes. Mustangs win the match. Schultz with the ace. Mustangs hold on against a very good Crawford team and get the win 25-20, 27-25. That was a good one to lead off our triangular. Both teams played hard. Very entertaining match. Mustangs are able to come away with the win. And next up will be Crawford and the Hay Springs Hawks. So I'm going to do a couple commercials here, and I'm sure they're going to put some music on as the team warms up. So if there is copyrighted music, I can't have my microphones going. So when you come back and you see the screen and it's muted, that's why. It's not that I forgot to turn the sound on. It's just that I cannot have that music uh, playing on my broadcast. So we'll do some partner sponsor commercials. Those partner sponsors, of course, are on your screen. Aflac, 21st Century Equipment, and Modern Farm Equipment are your partner sponsors. So we'll do a couple commercials. I'll reset the scoreboard, and we'll get ready for Hawks and Rams here. Second match of the triangular coming at you in just a little bit. Many people think short-term disability insurance only covers catastrophic injuries that leave you unable to work. But it also includes conditions like arthritis, heart disease, diabetes, and even pregnancy. That's why there's short-term disability insurance from Aflac. Simply put, short-term disability insurance pays benefits for covered illnesses and injuries that can keep you out of work and unable to collect a paycheck. Like if you injure your back and have limited mobility, you get emergency heart surgery and need time to recover, or you're about to welcome that second bundle of joy. All these things may keep you from working in the short term, but can impact your ability to pay bills in the long term. 
Short-term disability insurance from Aflac can help. You choose the plan that's right for you based on your financial needs and income. We pay you money directly when you are medically unable to work due to a covered sickness or injury, up to a percentage of your salary. So if that day comes, we can pay you money directly to help cover bills and maintain your way of life. The financial resources you need, the income protection you want, that's short-term disability insurance. Aflac, we're here for you when you need us most. Get to know us at aflac.com. At 21st Century Equipment, we know what it takes and what it means for you to thrive. The long hours and time in the field. The hard work and precision in every task. The pride of a job well done. And the will to do it again tomorrow, rain or shine. We know because like you, our team is made up of farmers, ranchers, landowners and family businesses. So, we make it our mission to deliver the John Deere equipment and performance you can rely on. The parts and service that keep you running all year long. And the technology to help you do, see, and produce more when it comes to your operation. Because when you work with us, you get a partner that's always there for you, ready to develop the solutions that drive your success, today and every day forward. Welcome to 21st Century Equipment. There is a new world out there, revealing itself in unpredictable ways. A world that demands more from the land and those who grow, farm, and build on it. This new world calls for the ingenuity to get more out of it, while preserving as much as we can. After all, to stay ahead of tomorrow, we need to be equipped for it today. Okay. The Hawks are warming up right now. The Rams are back in the locker room taking a break. They're gonna put 16 minutes up on the scoreboard, so it's gonna be some time before we before we uh, get started here. As we've, uh, I'm gonna let Hay Springs warm up. It'll be their first match of the morning, so they're gonna to need to get loose. I'll leave it here with the sound on as long as they don't play any uh, copyrighted music. So we'll just leave it here and I'll hang out with you. I might go grab a bite. I saw some donuts, so <laughs> I'm a bit of a sucker for a donut. So we might have to go check that out here in a minute at the concession stand. Having the officials and captains meeting right now to get things set up. When that is over, they will sound the horn and we will be getting ready for action. There's the horn. Just 
Just getting some stuff ready here for the Hawks. Of course, I, I do cover the Hawks in the paper. I don't get to broadcast all of their games, but I do try to get over and take pictures of their action, home action. Went over and saw them beat Banner County in their triangular earlier this year. I think it was last week. Coach Lisa Merritt is, I, I will give, I'll give Lisa some props here. I don't know if Lisa will listen to this or not, but she is the fastest responding coach in all of Sheridan County. She, I send over an email and she answers my questions. Boom, here it comes right to me. And I'm very appreciative of that because as most of you know, a newspaper runs on a deadline. So to have those responses immediately or really quickly is awesome to have. So I, I really enjoy covering the Hawks in volleyball. They're having a great season this year. They're four and one. Um, they have beaten Hemingford. They've beaten Crawford. Of course, the win over Banner County, which I got to watch. And they defeated Creek Valley. Their only loss is to a good Garden County team. So they just played the Rams actually this week in a triangular. So it's going to be a familiar opponent for the Hawks and Rams as they get ready to square off here in the second match of this triangular. Coached by Lisa Merritt are the Hawks. Assisted by Katie Williams. Uh, one kind of storyline for the Hawks, we'll get into that, we'll get into their kind of their stats and everything, is the loss of Mia Skinner. Mia had a great sophomore campaign on both the volleyball floor, the basketball floor, and on the track. She was a state qualifier in the two and 400, and not to mention being a mainstay for the volleyball and basketball team. Mia, unfortunately, suffered a serious knee injury, which will put her out for volleyball. I don't really know a bunch of details about it. I just know that it's pretty pretty serious, and she's going to miss volleyball. We'll see if she misses anything beyond that. But Mia is not going to be playing this volleyball season. A big hole for the, for the Hawks, but they filled it in nicely. One big, one big underclassman that has stepped up is Gabby Twarling. Twarling leads the Hawks in kills with six, or 26, 22 aces, and she also has 68 digs. So the sophomore Twarling is doing it all. 22 aces in five matches is a pretty darn good number. Be something to watch here as the afternoon or the morning goes on. Breeley Smith and Jazzy Smith have both been up there for kills for the Hawks. Breeley with 20, Jazzy with 15. And then their outstanding junior, that is Samantha Toof. Toof is kind of the, if, if you're a Mustang fan, she's the Reagan Schultz of of the Hay Springs Hawk. She digs, she serve receives, she swings, she sets, she does it all for the Hawks. She kind of makes the Hawks engine go. She may not fill up the stat, fill up one stat column extremely high, but you're gonna see her name in a lot of them. And if she has a good match, chances are the Hawks are gonna come away with the win. Just a pair of seniors, I'm sorry, three seniors for the Hawks. And that is the twin sisters, Jaslyn and Lainey Smith. And then Ashley Tobias, and she'll wear 16. Coach Merritt mentioned to me that she has three sisters that can be on the floor at all times. Jazzy and Lainey, the twins that are seniors, and then Breeley, the junior, of course, who has 20 kills on the season. Molly Spicer will wear the libero jersey. She'll wear the gold jersey. The rest of the Hawks will wear the green with the gold numerals. Black shorts, white shoes, except for two or three girls. And that'll be your Hawks lineup here. We'll see who starts for them when we get ready to go here. Now, they don't suit up a bunch. Only nine girls suited up today for the Hawks. So you're gonna what you see on the floor right now is going to be what you get. We'll see if Crawford warms up here. It's their time.
With that loss today, Crawford dropped to two and four on the season. They beat Niobrara County and they've beaten Hemingford, as we mentioned before. They've lost to Hay Springs, lost to Hemingford, and lost to Sioux County. And now a loss to Gordon Rushville puts them at two and four on the season, looking to avenge a loss earlier this week against the Hawks. Right now are the Rams. Rams lost to the Hawks 25-19, 25-18. So a couple of good sets. So it's going to be a good one here again. It's going to be three really good matches. Gordon Rushville is kind of in that rebuild mode. Hay Springs and Crawford, of course, are smaller schools, but very talented in their own right. So we got some good volleyball going on here today. I'm excited to do a little bit of broadcasting for a couple different teams. Okay, I'm going to step away for a minute and grab a donut, I think. Go we'll see if they have any left. And grab a water. And I'll be back here in about seven minutes for the second match of the triangular.
Okay, here we go. Both teams have finished warming up. And let's bring you some more volleyball action here from the Gordon Rushville Triangular. Bear with me. I don't normally do Hay Springs Crawford games. I know some of the girls, but I'm going to do my best to do my best to make sure I get them all right. Uh, just an update for everybody at home. If you were wondering, the donuts are sold out. But they do have uh, kind of the regular concession food. So I had me a chili dog. You know, nothing like a chili dog at 10, 15 in the morning after a late night in Mitchell that will really get your blood pumping. Ready to go. Chili dogs, the fuel of the Journal Star broadcaster. The teams exchange pleasantries. And here we go. Crawford and Hay Springs getting set to do battle. Hay Springs won the matchup earlier this week, 2 0. And they're looking to get another win over the Rams. As Spicer will check in, Molly Spicer is your libero. She is a junior. Back to serve is fellow junior, Samantha Tooth. And she will be leading it off here for the Hawks. Tooth lets it rip, and right off the bat, Samantha Tooth with the ace. One nothing. Barry is going to swing from the back row. Natalie Barry, down it goes. Wow. Nice swing from Barry, the senior, with authority for the Rams. 1-1. One, one. Natalie had four kills against the Mustangs. She's off to a quick start here. That one tickles the top of the net, dug out nicely by Tobiasen. Off the block, dug by Vogel. Set coming outside to Barry. Barry's going to have to roll shot. Back row, Tobias and waiting for it. Swing for Twarling coming up. Gabby blocked. Uh, Hawks recover. Twarling will try again. This time it goes long, out of bounds. Point Crawford. Twarling is definitely the biggest threat that the Hawks have on the hitting side of things. As Tobias and back row dig, free ball coming. Vogel sets up, set, swing into the net, no good. Point for Hay Springs. On the other side, Natalie Berry is probably the best hitter that Crawford has. They had a host of young ladies get on the action, including Carly Lemon against the Mustangs, but Berry, and that's going to be a lift. It would have been an ace anyway for Twarling. Back row swing coming deep and out of bounds. Just missed the back line point. Hay Springs. Twarling has 22 aces on the season. Give her 23 now. She is picking on Vogel. Vogel, libero. Spicer back row with the dig. Tooth with the bump set. Tobiasen with a nice hit. Crawford unable to corral it. Point Hay Springs. Ashley Tobias in number 16, the senior for the Hawks. That one sails well out of bounds. Point back to the Rams, 5-3. Carly Lemon to serve, wasting no time. Spicer, back row dig. Bump set from Twarling, free ball. Barry hits it back corner. Sliding dig there from Toof. Ooh, Toof. I think you give her the kill there, ladies and gentlemen. She bumped it. And over it went. 
Off the defender, out of bounds, point for Hay Springs. 6 3 now, Hawks on top of the Rams. First set. And Spicer's serve is into the net. So the service error puts the Hawks, or puts the Rams within two. Spicer. Free ball from Toof. Set coming outside to Barry. Barry with the tip, covered by Samantha. Swing in the middle here, tipped up, and down it goes. Kill for 13 from the Hawks. Let me get you her name here in one second. That is Laney Smith. Laney with the kill, the senior. And kind of a deke there as she thought one ram thought the other ram was going to get it. She put her hands up, but nobody got it and dropped in. Point for the Hawks. Barry kind of slaps it over, covered by Toof. Free ball sent over by the Hawks. Back row Spicer sliding dig. Nice job there by Molly Spicer. Crawford working here, trying to get the kill, but back row covered by Crawford. Got a good volley going right here, ladies and gentlemen. Barry with the roll shot. Twirling with the dig. Toof's going to swing it. Tipped over. Nice job by Crawford again there. Tobiasen with the swing. Close to the net. Free ball coming across. Long volley. Could have been two hits, didn't get him. Down it goes, back row dropped in. By number one, that is Summers. Wow, that was a long volley. I'm tired. Into the net it goes. So Barry with the service error. Her serve can be a bit of a weapon, but not when it goes in the net. Point for Gordon Rushville. Toof there to receive it. Push coming across, covered up by Hay Springs. Swing by Summers, just missed the back line. Point Hawks. Tobiasen is serving. Good serve by Tobiasen. Covered nicely by the Rams. They're able to get it back across. That one goes into the. I'm having a bit of a technical difficulty all of a sudden. That's weird. Twirling with the kill. 11 6. I'm not sure why I would have any issues with the stream there. Well, that's Gabby's first kill. Must have been a fluke, hopefully just a fluke. And the ace. From Laney Smith, the senior, drops it in there. Hawks now doubling up the Rams, 12-6. Got a lift and another point for the Hawks as they extend their lead now to seven. Tipped up, covered by Crawford now. Summers with the swing. Tobias in there, set, Toof. Tipped up and the Hawks were in the net. Point for the Rams. Coach Johnson really wanted two. Two hit on the on the Hawks there, she didn't get it. She yelled at the referee, but nothing happened as Spicer. Oh man, just about got it, did the Hawks. Good effort there by Toof. But the miss hit leads to a point for the Rams.
And Summers was in the net, so point for Hay Springs. 14-8 now. Toof serving. A little knuckle serve from Toof. Tip into the net. And it dropped in. Good. <laughs> I'm not even sure what happened there. I guess Hay Springs blocked it. It looked like maybe it went into the net, but I can't see behind that official. Hard for me to see that. Spicer kind of got tied up with Tobias, in, but the Hawks are able to recover. Vogel gets it. And that's a nice swing by Crawford. That's Tyla, Tylea Underwood. Timeout coach Merritt and the Hawks. So first set, 14-10, Hay Springs with the lead. Bagan Propane is your local and family-owned propane supplier. They are proud to support the Gordon Rushville Mustangs and our area youth. Contact Bagan Propane at 360-3579 with any questions you have about how we can help with your propane needs. Strong Insurance has been serving the Midwest since 1932. Strong Insurance is your independent insurance agency. As an independent agent, we work with many carriers to offer our clients the best policy options available for their needs. We don't work for any one insurance company. We work for you. Stop in today at 224 North Main Street in Gordon or give Ben a call at 282-0560. The certified public accounting firm of Gardner, Lautzen, Heiser, and Ryan PC wishes good luck to the Mustangs. Visit with CPA Sarah Rickgarn or Mike Coombs or any of the professional staff at 216 South Main in Gordon or call 282-0842 for all your tax payroll and accounting needs. Go Mustangs from GLR. Big thanks to my sponsors. I know the Mustangs aren't playing in this match, but the sponsors that power the broadcast is bringing you the Rams and the Hawks. So pay homage to them as this one progresses. 14-10, swing coming from Twarling. Twarling bumps it over. And Vogel's waiting for it. Now Vogel with a nice swing. Hay Springs covers, though. Smith, back row. Berry lets it rip, and down it goes. Natalie Berry finds the floor. Natalie's got a big windup, and then kind of comes off her hand. Not as hard as you think it would be, and it kind of creates a change-up effect. Back row, Tobias and waiting for it. She's sure-handed, that senior is back there. Set coming out to Barry. Nope. Inside to number 10 for the Rams. Now Twarling rolls, drops it in. Vogel ready for it. Quick hitter coming. Spicer waiting for it. Cross-court swing from the Hawks, covered by the Rams. And that time Vogel too long. 15-11 now. Hawks with the lead. Twarling with her 23 aces. Back to serve. Barry winds up, big swing from Natalie. Point Crawford. That's what Crawford needs to get going. They need Natalie Barry on the aggressive side of it. She's got three of the 12 Ram points via the kill. She only had four kills against the Mustangs. And that serve is too long. And the uh, Grams give it right back. Spicer back to serve for Hay Springs. Swing coming here. It's going to be a roll shot. Twirling in the back row. Tobiasen. Swings covered by Crawford. Free ball. Spicer on her knees with the dig. Cross-court shot covered by Crawford. Now bump coming, that's Barry. Barry winds up, that time it's too long. It goes right by the official, Shelly Binbin. Point to the Hawks. Down it goes, Spicer won't get the ace, but she'll, Hawks will get the point, and their lead is now six. 18-12.
Net violation by 15. Point Hay Springs as they extend their lead now to seven. Out of bounds, back to the Rams. Good serve, it goes into the net. Can the Hawks save it? They cannot. Point for Crawford. Back there serving is number 10, Tylea Underwood. Underwood into the net that time. Back to Hay Springs it goes, 2014. Just missed the back line, out of bounds, point to Crawford. Rams within five, they're gonna have to make a run here. Hawks creeping closer and closer to 25. Bump set, Toof with the swing, back row covered by Barry. Now Summers with the swing, but Hayspring's able to recover. Another little bit of a roll shot there. Now Tobiasen into the net, can she? And she hit the, hit the divider, and that'll be a point for the Rams. Toof with the slide and the dig, of the serve receive. Bump, Summers. Free ball, dropped it in, in between the Hawks defense. Skyler Summers, her second kill. Wow, that's a nice swing from the back row. Timeout, Coach Merritt again. She wants to talk it over, Hawks. 20 to 17 with the lead here in the first set. Natalie Berry leads all young ladies in this match with three kills. Skyler Summers right behind her with two and Talia Underwood with one for the Rams. Laney Smith, Samantha Toof, and Gabby Twirling each with a kill for the Hawks. Of course, I'm, I'm assuming, well, not all of you are Nebraska fans, I'm sure, but the Huskers. We're going to take on the Buffalo Bison. 1.30, that game starts, kicks off Mountain Time. I'm wearing my Husker shirt today. I'm not really allowed to wear any sort of um, team apparel for either of these teams, so I just wore my Husker shirt. I figure it's a nice neutral shirt. As Crawford now with the set outside to Summers. Summers lets it rip, but that one's too long. Point to the Hawks now. Hawks with a four-point lead. Try to remain neutral in my attire as a media member. Obviously, we're a Gordon Rushville broadcast. But enjoying this match between two teams that I don't normally get to broadcast for as that serve hits the net from Tobias and a service error. And now Crawford with the short serve, twirling there. Bump set, free ball. Sent across, set outside to Summers. Summers this time takes a little off it and drops it in. Summers with the adjustment, and Skyler puts the Rams within two. That serve sails out of bounds. Point for the Hawks now. Of course, we run to 25. It's a race to 25. Rally scoring, of course. And the team needs to win by two to win the set. Oh, good swing there from 20 on Crawford. Twirling winds up. Gabby with the full head of seam, but the Mustang, or the, not the Mustangs, the Rams able to dig it. That one goes into the divider. Point for Crawford. It's not allowed to hit the divider. That was Natalie Berry who dug that twirling kill attempt. 
Nice job by the senior to hang in there. I think had some steam on it. Tobias in, in a set, two hits. And look at that, 21-22, Crawford within one. Toof with the dig, now Toof will send it over. Good dig by Vogel. Summers! Down it goes. Summers won't get the kill, but she had a great swing that resulted in the point for Crawford, and they tied it up. Crawford was down six at one point. Now it's 22-22. Toof finds the floor. Nice swing there from the junior. <clears throat> Excuse me. We get to see Samantha on the hardwood with basketball, too. She's quite the three-point shooter. As that two serve will go back row. Berry, back row swing. Down it goes. Natalie Berry answers back. Four kills for Berry. That was well-designed and well-executed. Back row ace. Down it goes. Now the Rams with a chance to win the first set. Summers gets the ace. Set point. Hawks got to find a way. Spicer with the nice dig. Now free ball, though, for set. Oh, quick set. Covered by Toof. Trolling winds up off the Crawford back row. Point for the Hawks. So they tie back up 24-24. Big block there at the net. Wow. That was Jazzy Smith. Man, good defense there. Barry went for the kill and Smith blocked it. Twarling to Vogel, but free ball coming here for the Hawks. Swing, tipped up. Hawks got to send it back. I mean, so the Rams got to send it back to the Hawks. Spicer with the dig. Toof with the set. Tobiasen with a tip and down it goes. Hawks win set one. 26 to 24. Give Tobiasen the kill, that's her first. And that'll end set one. Okay, let's get everything arranged here. Hay Springs takes set one. Mr. Mills makes the announcement about Willow Tree going on tonight, or I'm sorry, today and tomorrow. Going to go over and check that out after the matches today. If you're in town and you're a Hay Springs or Crawford fan, it really is a cool thing they do there down at Winship and Wayland Park. That would be, if you're going down Main Street, you would take, you would go west on either 3rd or 4th Street. I believe the entrance is more toward the turn off of 3rd in Main. And it'd be on the south side of um, that kind of area. So you can go check that out if you'd like. They've got some pretty dynamite food there every year. Food vendors come in. There's crafts for the kiddos. There's a children's stage, stage where there's children performers and there's a, uh, the main stage, which has more of the musical acts. Of course, it's all family friendly. So go check it out today if you're in Gordon for some volleyball action or maybe tomorrow will be on your agenda of things to do. Hawks win set one, 26-24.
Crawford Rams, a little bit of bad luck here in the last two sets. Mustangs beat them 27-25, and the Hawks beat them 26-24. Lots of fight on that Rams team, but on the losing end of the last two sets. I see a couple football player players here this morning from Gordon Rushville. Long night, didn't affect them any. I see Mr. Mills and I see Coach Jones. And we're ready to start set two. Looks like it's gonna be Summers to kick us off here from Crawford, she'll serve it up for the first volley. Spicer with the serve receive, Twarling able to find the back row point, Hey Springs, Gabby Twarling. Heads up play there by the sophomore. She's the leading hitter for the Hawks, she has 26 kills coming into this morning's matches. She's got two so far. Samantha Tooth with the serve. Barry with the swing. Tobiasen with the dig. Barry again into the net this time. Point for Hay Springs. Natalie Barry with four kills in the first set. Senior looking to get that going again here. Swing here, back to Spicer. Now two full set. Smith couldn't quite get it to go. Twarling with the up. Now back to Twarling it goes. Into the block, covered nicely by Crawford. And then Spicer into the net. Point for Crawford. Back to serve is Lemon. Carly the junior. Tobiasen unable to return it and give Lemon the ace. Carly back to serve again. Short this time, down it goes. So Lemon got one with a little bit of velo on it and then she took a little bit off it and dropped it in front of Breeley Smith. Tobias in there for the receive. Twarling winds up, and Vogel with the dig. Crawford, a little bit of a scramble, able to get it across. Two full set in the middle to Smith. Smith, oh, we got Crawford in the net. Hay Springs ties it up 3-3. Barry with the free ball. Tobiasen waiting for it. Two sets out to Tobiasen. The senior tips it. Covered by Crawford. Now a set out to Barry. Into the net go the girls, and it's pushed back by the Hawks. Point Hay Springs. Twarling took a little bit off that, covered by Crawford. And Barry has sent another free ball over. Can't get a wind up on it. Toof to Tobiasen. Blocked and down. Tobiasen gets the kill. So Tobiasen goes off the block and onto the floor. Point for the Hawks. Nice dig and Toof. Sends it down, Samantha Toof with her fourth kill. Kind of the unorthodox way there, but it counts. Two 
Toof with the nice dig. Free ball from Smith. Berry lets it rip, and that one missed the back corner, Point Hay Springs. Natalie Berry about had it measured up, but just a bit too long. Twarling serve continues. And that one goes in the net. Crawford unable to get it over the net. Point for Hay Springs. Twarling missed the back line. Point for the Rams. Back to serve is Underwood. Nice serve from Underwood, even better dig from Tobias. And now a swing coming here for Smith, covered by the Rams. Now Barry's going to wind up. Natalie Barry, a free ball kind of exchange back and forth there. Now Smith, down the line it goes. Oh, wait. Okay, so they're going to say that it went behind the antenna. Point for Crawford. It did land in bounds, but she hit it. I can't see the antennas because that official's in the way. So he needs to see it many more, much more than I do anyway. Twirling back roll, lets it rip. Dug out by Crawford. Now free ball coming across. Twirling with the dig. Now Tobias and winds up off the block. We got a tip. Point for Hay Springs. Good call there. Tobias and gets another kill. Tough serve dug out nicely by Crawford. Two foot the bump set. Free ball coming across. Summers lets it rip. Twarling covers it. Two will send a free ball over. Good dig by Toof. Nice job there by the junior. Now Samantha will come in and set. Once again, right by the antenna, and the kill goes down. Breely Smith with the kill that time. I did do the math. If I say Smith for Hay Springs, I got a 33% chance of it being right, as three of the nine young ladies that travel today are a Smith sister. Kind of a free ball drops in. I believe that's Laney Smith. It is. We got a substitution coming for Crawford. In comes Tiana Clark, the freshman. Clark, I believe it's the first time we've seen her. And it is 11 to 5, now 11 to 6. Let me get that updated. So Tiana Clark. Jumps in the action for Crawford. Spicer with the nice dig on the Barry serve. And we got a lift on Toof. Point for Crawford. If you remember, Crawford was down six. Came all the way back and tied it up. And forced it to go a little bit extra, but Hay Springs hung on in the end. Twarling with the dig. Toof with the bump. Free ball coming here for Crawford. Swing, dropped in, twirling dig. Two set. Tobias in with a two-handed push. And it, down it goes. 12-7. Tobias in, is crafty. The senior doesn't necessarily get up above the net super high, but she knows where to put the volleyball. That's causing some problems here for the Rams. And Crawford saves it. Miss hit by Tobias and will lead to a free ball for the Rams again. Bump set. Barry back row into the net. Point Hay Springs. Thirteen seven. That's live off the rafters. Crawford does a nice job hanging in. Tobias in, back row to Barry. Barry gets it. Free ball from Tiana Clark. Toof winds up, down it goes. Samantha Toof with the kill. 
Toof, not the leading hitter for the Hawks, but she's got five kills in this match. That one unable to get over the net from Crawford. Point back to the Hawks. And there's an ace. As the Hawks have extended their lead here. 16-7, Breeley Smith with the ace. Now Breeley lets it go again, this time Crawford there. That one goes into the net. 10 point Hawks lead here. Timeout, Coach Johnson. They're gonna talk it over here. Fuel Grill would like to wish the best of luck to all the Gordon Rushville student athletes playing sports this fall. Whether it's before or after the game, Fuel Grill has all your needs covered for a night out from delicious options on the menu or your favorite cold beverage. True Value and Gordon is having its annual Labor Day sale. Pick up all your fall lawn care essentials, including fertilizer, grass seed, and more. Stop by and see Buck and the gang at 217 North Main Street in Gordon. Kreitman Trucking is a proud supporter of the Gordon Rushville Mustangs on the court, on the field, in the classroom, and on the stage. Like anything in life, hard work and dedication ends in success. Good luck tonight, Mustangs from Kreitman Trucking. The Hawks have taken control of set two, looking to push their record to five and one on the 2021 season. It would mark the second time they beat the Rams this week as they swept them in a triangular earlier. I think it was Tuesday, I believe. Barry back row, blocked and dropped. Hay Springs gets another point. Tip back to Spicer. Smith able to send it over close to the net. Good job there by the Hawks to scramble. Toof. Sends it across. The Hawks did a nice job getting it up, but I'm sorry, the, the Rams did a nice job saving that volley, and it ends up being a point for Crawford. Swing coming from two. Samantha winds up too long. Out of bounds, points to Crawford. Toof with a good swing, but a good dig by Crawford. Smith goes back row, covered up by Crawford. Now the freshman lets it rip. That's Clark. Tobiasen lets it go. That would have been in. Barry saved it. Clark again, this time into the net. Point back to Hay Springs. And her lead is 10 once again. Bias in to serve. Spicer off the ceiling and looks like we're gonna have two hits from Twarling. She had to kind of readjust there, couldn't quite get in position for the kill. Point back to Crawford. Now Vogel, the libero. Tobias and waiting for it. Smith, but now tough angle for Toof. Unable to get it over the net. Point Crawford. Timeout, Coach Merritt. 19 11 in the second set. And Coach Merritt wants to talk about it. Of course, today marks the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. And I believe at noon today, they're going to sound the sirens in Gordon 
for one minute in remembrance of all the lives lost on that day. Of course, the anniversary has already passed. It was early in the morning when it happened. The four planes that went down. It's kind of cliche, but we all remember where we were that day, and I for sure do, the, do myself. So today we think about that. Of course, we've got a lot of fun stuff going on today, but take a second to think about that very tragic day and how lucky we are to live in America. Think about the unity of the country that day. That was something to, to uh, behold. As Vogel will go back row, Spicer. And down it goes from Smith. The free ball finds the floor. Give Smith the kill. Laney's third kill. I know we all wish we'd go back to that day or how unified the nation was. Things seem to be a little more split nowadays. Into the net it goes, and Crawford unable to corral it. Hawks once again up 10. Look to be cruising to their fifth win of the season here as they're dispatching the Rams for the second time this week. Quick hitter. Free ball sent over by Twarley. Set coming and down it goes. Swing and kill from Underwood. Spicer into the net, point for Crawford. Oh, I forgot to give Crawford a point. It's 21-13, I'm sorry. The Rams within eight now. Going to have to make a run right now as Hay Springs is getting very, very close to 25. And there it is. There's an ace. And there's Tiana Clark, the freshman, getting her first action of the morning. And give Clark an ace. Bias and Twarling jumps in there quickly. Nice job there by Gabby. That was getting dangerously close to the net. Now Spicer back row. Swing coming from Toof. And it bounces around, but it does finally find the floor. Two foot the set. Swing coming back row to Vogel. Now Barry is going to wind up. Barry with a good swing, but Hay Springs covers it. Charling winds up. No tip. Out of bounds. Point to the Rams. Toof saves it when it gets close to the net, but Spicer's going to hit it into the net. And Crawford getting closer and closer, now within six. Trying to make this a bit tighter than Hay Springs would want. That's into the rafters. Tough play for Toof. She gets it. Back row, too deep from Barry. Point Hay Springs. Good vision there by Spicer. Twarling with the serve, and there's an ace for Gabby. That's the girl they want back there serving, Gabby Twarling, with a couple aces here today. Give her 25 on the season. And give her another one. That'll end it. 25-16, set two. Goes to the Hawks, and the match goes to the Hawks. They improve to 5-1 and one on the season. Crawford now 2-5, and five, and Crawford will leave the triangular going 0-2. Oh lost a couple of really close, tight matches, or sets, but are going to come up on the short end of the stick. 
Hay Springs 5 and 1. Now they have a showdown with their Sheridan County counterparts. The Gordon Rushville Mustangs. We'll see how long they warm up since both teams have played. I don't know. I think the rules kind of change here and there. As the Hawks will move over to the other bench. And I see the boys setting up for music, so we're probably going to have music playing. I'm going to have to mute this. So when we come back, we might be muted after the commercials, but let's pay homage to a few of our partner sponsors. If you were tuning in from Crawford, thank you for tuning in. Appreciate you watching. Nothing but the best for the Rams the rest of their season. We'll be right back here with the third and final match of the triangular right after this. We all know hospital stays can be expensive. Even a minor trip to the ER can have a major impact on your finances. Whether it's additional charges like lab fees and x-rays, personal expenses for childcare, or lost wages from work during your stay, time spent at a hospital can mean dipping into savings to keep up with out-of-pocket expenses. That's why there's Aflac Hospital Indemnity Insurance. Hospital Indemnity Insurance can help with expenses your health insurance doesn't cover. So when an ER visit leads to an extended stay, or your surgery requires additional blood work and medication, or you have to miss work and a paycheck for a procedure, Hospital Indemnity Insurance is there. We pay you money directly to help address your out-of-pocket expenses before they add up. So avoid dipping into your savings to pay for the unexpected and enjoy the peace of mind that Hospital Indemnity Insurance helps provide. Aflac, we're here for you when you need us most. Get to know us at aflac.com. There is a new world out there, revealing itself in unpredictable ways. A world that demands more from the land and those who grow, farm, and build on it. This new world calls for the ingenuity to get more out of it, while preserving as much as we can. After all, to stay ahead of tomorrow, we need to be equipped for it today. At 21st Century Equipment, we know what it takes and what it means for you to thrive. The long hours and time in the field. The hard work and precision in every task. The pride of a job well done. And the will to do it again tomorrow, rain or shine. We know because like you, our team is made up of farmers, ranchers, landowners and family businesses. So, we make it our mission to deliver the John Deere equipment and performance you can rely on. The parts and service that keep you running all year long. And the technology to help you do, see, and produce more when it comes to your operation. Because when you work with us, you get a partner that's always there for you, ready to develop the solutions that drive your success, today and every day forward. Welcome to 21st Century Equipment.
Okay, here we go, back for the third match of the morning here at the Gordon Rushville Triangular. It's gonna be the Mustangs and the Hawks. Teams are gonna exchange pleasantries here and we're gonna get going. Mustangs are gonna run out Schultz and Taylor. Schultz, Johnson, Grover, McKimmy, and Towson. Of course, Riley Schultz, the younger sister of Reagan, will be playing libero again here in this matchup, which pits the five and one Hawks against the two and five Mustangs. And here we go, bragging rights for Sheridan County on the line. Schultz goes back row to Spicer. Set coming, two swings, two fit into that point, Gordon Rushville. Samantha Toof misjudged that one a bit, so Mustang's a beneficiary of the point. Schultz serving again. Back row, and that's gonna be a tough one. Bounces around and down, gives Schultz the ace. Reagan. Gets her first ace, sorry, second ace of the morning. First one of the match. Two nothing Mustangs. Tobias in for that one. Bump set coming here. Twarling will send the free ball across. Swing coming outside to Towson. Towson off, or no, not off the block. Over the block and over the end line. Out of bounds, point to the Hawks. Tooth will serve. Samantha Tooth. Ashley Tobiasen and Gabby Twirling are all outstanding servers for the Hawks. Mustangs are gonna have to handle those serves as McKimmy with the tip and she finds a hole, drops it in. AJ McKimmy gets the kill. Mimic McKimmy had five kills in the win over Crawford. Earlier this morning, she gets her first here. Towson with the serve, covered nicely by Hay Springs. Swing coming here, covered by Schultz, Riley Schultz. Towson has to go get it, and she misjudged it. Point to the Hawks as she tried to check where that antenna was and went outside. Now, Twirling will serve, and that's out of bounds. Good call there from Johnson. Mustangs let it fall out. Point to them. Now, McKimmy serving. Trinity Taylor checks in the front row for libero Riley Schultz. Taylor to Twarling, handled nicely by the junior. This set is into the net. Tough one for Tobiasen, and the Mustangs are there for the defense. Point, Jordan Rushville. Back row to Spicer. Spicer to Twarling. Schultz is there though to receive, set from Grover. Now Taylor, roll shot, down it goes. Trinity Taylor gets in on the action. 6-2 Mustangs here early on first set. McKimmy miss hit. Service air point to the Hawks, 6-3. Back goes Spicer to serve. Towson handles it stunningly. Taylor with the big swing. Good dig there by Spicer. Free ball comes over to Towson. Schultz will set outside this time to Grover. Grover had to back up. McKinley, good swing, but good job by the Hawks to scramble. Mustangs will set up a swing again. This time Johnson to Tobiasen. Out of bounds it goes. Haley Johnson with the kill. And Brenna Hag's gonna check in for Grover to serve. Brenna had a couple, actually had three aces in the first match now. The senior back to serve.
Riley Schultz waiting for that one, the freshman libero. Johnson into the net, she goes. Set was a little too tight, 7-4, Hawk, so Hawks get a point back. Down three now with, this is Breeley Smith. Taylor steps into it, Spicer digs. Twarling to Smith, Smith in the divider as it is out of bounds, point to the Mustangs. If the ball hits the divider, it's dead. If the ball hits the rafters or the basketball hoops, it's live. So just so a little Gordon Rushville home gym rules. And Johnson with a good serve. Wow, great job by Hay Springs to even save that one. Swing coming from Towson. Sky lets it rip. Twirling with the dig. Toof with the lift. Point for Gordon Rushville. Johnson with the short serve this time. Toof handles it. Now Samantha's going to wind up. And down it goes. Toof with the kill. First kill for the Hawks in this match. Samantha had five last, game, last match against the Rams. That one's too deep from Tobiasen. The service error results in a Mustang point 10-5 now. First set action. Both teams 1-0 on the day. Both teams took care of the Crawford Rams, and neither team did it easily. As Crawford was hanging tight with both. As we got a bump, two steps up, tipped up. Schultz to Schultz to McKimmy. McKimmy with the push and the kill. Mustangs adjusting on the fly. And how about Reagan to Riley, and then McKimmy finishes it off with a little push. GR with the six point lead. Out of bounds there as Schultz's serve sails wide. Swing coming here from McKinney has to adjust, sends it back row, covered nicely by the Hawks. Now Tuf will bump it over, free ball back to Schultz. Right, or Reagan Schultz sets, Towson adjusts down the line. It's good, Sky Towson with the nice kill. Got a sub here as Grover's gonna check back in. Mustangs with five kills so far, really doing a nice job passing and setting. Schultz drops it in, Toof there, now set going back to Toof. Toof lets it rip, Grover. Mustangs are in the net, they're gonna say McKimmy. Point for the Hawks. Grover too high. And Hay Springs within four. There's Samantha. Schultz with a nice up. Set coming to McKimmy. McKimmy with the tip. Hay Springs covers it nicely. Schultz back row. Set from Schultz. Now back row hit from Johnson. Just missed the back line. Out of bounds. Point Hawks. That was close, but just missed. Out of bounds goes that one. Mustangs get it back 13-9 now with a chance to rally again. Towson back to serve. Sky had six aces against Crawford. This time she goes too deep. Point to the Hawks. The Mustangs have missed that back line by a couple inches twice now in the last few volleys. Hawks within three. And that one goes over the back line as Twarling just missed that one. McKimmy 
back to serve, trying to end the service error run by both teams. McKimmy with a nice serve, twirling with an even better dig. Free ball to Schultz, now Grover's gonna set. McKinley sets out to Johnson, Haley Johnson, down it goes! McKinley Grover, we saw her set against Crawford and she took care of it there. Usually known for her swinging and blocking, but the soft touch from Grover. Set coming out here to Tobias and blocked. And Toof is able to scramble and save it. Towson close to the net. And Schultz goes into the net. Spicer drops it in for an ace. Good serve there from Molly, the junior libero for the Hawks. Point Hay Springs. Spicer back to try it again. Towson steps in front of Schultz. And Sky and Schultz unable to get it back across. An air on the Mustangs. Just like that, it's we're within two. Schultz there that time, now Towson winds up into the net. Point for the Hawks as a couple miss hits by the Mustangs as let Hay Springs get within one. Schultz digs that one now. Mustangs having a tough time now passing. Timeout, Coach Campbell as Hawks have come all the way back and tied this one, 15-15, timeout. Gordon Rushville. Gordon Chiropractic and Dr. John Friesman have been helping student athletes and residents of the Panhandle for over 20 years. Call Gordon Chiropractic at 282-1154 to make an appointment for all your chiropractic and acupuncture needs. Dr. Friesman and his staff wish the best of luck to the Mustangs competing tonight. Gordon Chiropractic wants to be part of your team to get you back into your game, the game of life. Gordon Livestock Market would like to wish the Mustangs good luck this season. With weekly cattle sales on Tuesdays and horse sales is advertised, Gordon Livestock has all your livestock needs covered. Call Tom or Patsy Tinas at 282-1171 to discuss your options today. Side to Milburn and Rushville is your dealer for Montana Sheds, Bad Boy Mowers, and they can service all makes and models of automobiles. No matter if you need a new mower, a new building, or some work done on your vehicle, they have you covered. Call Chris Heiser today, 327-2472. Actually, don't call Chris today. He's at the cross country meet. Call him on Monday, how about that? Spicer goes deep, too far, point back to the Mustangs. So the Hay Springs and Gordon Rushville cross country teams are competing at the Shadron cross country meet today. Coach Schmidt or Coach Mack have not sent any results from that. They're probably still going, they started at nine. And it was middle school and junior varsity varsity. Kind of a pop-up hit there covered by the Mustangs. Now Taylor has just checked in. Trinity lets it rip, but not enough angle on it as it sails over the end line. We're going to call lift on Schultz. Hawks take the lead for the first time this set. 17-16. Back row to Riley Schultz. Reagan has to get close to the net. Taylor able to get something on it, covered by the Hawks. Swing coming, it's long, as the Mustangs were in the net again. Point for the Hawks. Bump set out to Johnson. Haley tips it. And Johnson's in the net that time. Another net violation has now made it 19 to 16. Hawks with the three point lead. And they're not going to be able to get that one across. 
as the Mustangs had the lead, but now have just fallen apart. Hay Springs has run all the way ahead of the Mustangs to lead 20 to 16. Couple girls ran into each other. Looks like everybody's okay. Taylor tried to send it back, but it's covered by Twarling. Toof dives by Towson. Johnson had to go get it. Oh, into the net it goes. Free ball coming from Spicer though. Towson now the quick set and drop by Schultz. Schultz saw the tip and got it in there. Mustangs with a much needed side out kill for Reagan. 20 to 17, now Johnson's got to go on a run here. The Hawks in position to take set one here as they got a three point lead late in the first set. Good dig by Twarling there. Toof lets it rip, Johnson waiting for it. Haley's got to send a free ball all the way across, she does get it there. Tobiason with a tip blocked by the Mustangs. Free ball coming back row to Johnson. Johnson to Schultz. Schultz with the bump set this time. Towson winds up, covered by Twarling. What do we got here? Mustangs in the net again. Point for Hay Springs. Four net violations here for the Mustangs. In this set, four point Hay Springs lead. Tip again, causes some chaos. It's gonna result in a free ball. Brenna is there. Towson with the swing, down it goes. Good angle from Sky Towson that time and she gets the kill. Much needed as the Mustangs have been their own worst enemy here in the first set. Riley Schultz, the freshman back to serve. She lets it go, short one covered up by Tobiasen. Toof will push it. Swing coming from McKimmy. AJ goes cross court. Covered by the Hawks. Schultz over to Towson. Towson gets there late, still able to get it across. Toof off of Haig. Point for the Hawks. Give the kill to Samantha Toof. That's her second kill of the match and set. And the Hawks lead is four, 22 to 18. Towson goes long, out of bounds. Hawks with the five point lead. McKimmy with the swing, and down it goes. A.J. McKimmy with a big swing. Mustangs get one back. Running out of time, though, is GR as the Hawks are within two of winning the first set. Going to have to make a run here in order to get the win. Schultz back to serve. Reagan lets it rip. Ooh, tough dig by Spicer, but she gets it. Free ball goes out of bounds. Gordon Rushville within three. Schultz still serving, an ace would be just what the doctor ordered here. Tobiasen into the net and down, give her the ace. Timeout, Coach Merritt. 23-21, the Mustangs making a push. 25 here as the Hawks have controlled the latter half of this set. And the Mustangs within two, 23-21. True Value and Gording is having its annual Labor Day sale right now. Pick up all your fall lawn care essentials, including fertilizer, grass seed, and more. Stop by and see Buck and the gang at 217 North Main Street in Gordon. Fuel Grill would like to wish the best of luck to all the Gordon Rushfield student-athletes playing sports this fall. 
Whether it's before or after the game, Fuel Grill has all your needs covered for a night out from delicious options on the menu or your favorite cold beverage. Bagan Propane is your local and family-owned propane supplier. They are proud to support the Gordon Rushville Mustangs and our area youth. Contact Bagan Propane at 360-3579 with any questions you have about how they can help with your propane needs. 23-21, nail biter here first set. Hawks were down early, came storming back. Mustangs were down big, and now they've come back to get within two. Schultz goes back row. Tough one, and down it goes. It got two pretty high, and Spicer couldn't save her. Mustangs within one now. Very important to be tied here because you got to win by two. The race to 25, win by two. Even that one-point lead comes into play this late in the set. That time Tobias and handles the Schultz serve. Now Tuf will push it over. Johnson's waiting. Schultz into set. Towson lets it rip and too long, out of bounds. And now the Hawks have set point here. 24-22. Tuf now back to serve. She has a very good serve. That one's wild though, out of bounds. Mustangs with life. Have a chance here to tie it up. This is a very, very important point, not just for winning the set, but staving off the Hawks from taking it. And that one's out, and that will do it. Hawks are gonna take set one as the service error gives the Hawks the win, 25-23. And the Mustangs will go down in an 0-1 hole here to start off the third match of the day. Let's get this updated here. Be right back after a quick break. There is a new world out there, revealing itself in unpredictable ways. A world that demands more from the land and those who grow, farm, and build on it. This new world calls for the ingenuity to get more out of it while preserving as much as we can. After all, to stay ahead of tomorrow, we need to be equipped for it today. Welcome back. Coach Merritt and her Hawks have won the first set of the third match here at the Gordon Rushville Triangular. Gordon Rushville beat the Rams in straight sets, and then Hay Springs did the same to Crawford. Both teams 1-0, looking to win the triangular, I guess you would say. Only one team's going to come out of here 2-0. Hawks looking for their sixth win of the season. Mustangs searching for their third. Hawks are 5-1. Mustangs are 2-5. We'll call it the battle for Sheridan County bragging rights. It'll be Hawk serve to start it off here. It's gonna be Samantha Tooth back to serve. Okay, the rotations are set. Spicer is in at libero for the Hawks. And Riley Schultz stays at libero for the Mustangs. Kinley, tip coming and down it goes. Nice job by McKimmy to adjust. Give McKimmy a kill. Reagan back to serve here. The junior has a couple aces today or in this match, one in the previous match, three total. That one missed though. Point to the Hawks. 
Twarling back to serve. Twarling with an impressive, I believe, 26 aces this season in just six matches. That time it's handled by Johnson, though. McKimmy with the swing. Did it land in? It did. AJ with two kills right off the bat. AJ doing it on the outside right now. She's done some work on the inside too, kind of moving all over that front row. McKimmy has to have a big impact. Deep serve covered by Spicer. Toof with the bump set. Tobias and will have to tip. And Mustangs scrambling. Tip by McKimmy and down it goes. Mustangs on the scramble are able to hold on. Point to GR. Schultz ran into the official stand, which is allowed. You can't go into the net. Towson with the good serve. Going to create a free ball here. Schultz back row, able to dig it. Grover winds up, and that one does not go over the net. Point for the Hawks. Spicer back to serve. An ace from Molly Spicer ties the game up 3-3. Spicer's second ace of the match. Riley Schultz able to get that one. Quick set, McKimmy adjusts, Hawks cover. Ball coming back row now. Schultz is ready for it now. Johnson let, winds up. She lets it go back row. Spicer sends it over. Schultz in there. Grover sends a free ball across. Set coming outside here to Tobiasen. It's blocked. Out of bounds. Give Tobiasen the kill. Point Hawks. Free ball from Johnson, two full set. Back row coming, Reagan ready for it. Now Grover will set. Ooh, that one was close. Out of bounds though from McKimmy. Point to the Hawks. And Haley with the tip into the net it goes, point to the Hawks, and Hay Springs has flipped that 3-1 lead and made it a 6-3 lead. That one is deep, out of bounds. Spicer goes too long, 6-4 now, as Taylor checks in for, for the libero. Kimmy back row to Spicer. Spicer had to kind of go off her hands there to result in a free ball here. Bump set from Grover. Towson with the push. Covered by the Hawks. Swing coming. McKinley Grover with the up. Johnson sends it over. Tooth with the set. Swing coming down the line. McKimmy waiting for it. Set out to Johnson. This time full head of steam. And it does not get back over. So Johnson will not get the kill, but it was a good swing. McKimmy to serve. AJ to Spicer, and down it goes. McKimmy won't get the ace, but it results in a Mustang point now, 6-6. Here comes McKimmy. AJ goes back row to Spicer. Swing coming back to Schultz now. Grover will set. Johnson winds up. Haley off the block and down, or off the defender and down. Point for GR. Give Haley her third kill of the match. Another set by Grover, as in this rotation, Grover doing some setting. Good for her. Usually Schultz and Johnson handle most of the setting. T 
Tip coming, Towson waiting. Taylor off the block and down. Once again, off the defender and down, I'm sorry. Trinity winds up there, 8-6 now. Timeout for the Hawks. Strong Insurance has been serving the Midwest since 1932. Strong Insurance is your independent insurance agency. As an independent agent, we work with many carriers to offer our clients the best policy options available for their needs. We don't work for any one insurance company. We work for you. Stop in today at 224 North Main Street in Gordon or give Ben a call at 282-0560. William Costello, let's go Stangs. Will, how you feeling? Big win last night for the Mustangs on the gridiron. And Will must be still tired. He's at home laying in bed, I guess, relaxing. Zerst says, thanks for carrying Gordon Rushville matches live. Great first match. Go Mustangs. Best of luck against Hay Springs. And he's, he or she is cheering on in Omaha. Thank you for watching in Omaha. And McKimmy's going to continue or go back to serve. 8-6 now. Hay Springs with a 1-0 lead in the match. Twarling with the hit. Towson with the dig. Set out to Johnson. Haley in rhythm. Down it goes. Mustangs. Man, they look really darn good when they stay in rhythm. It's just been, it's been a struggle fighting themselves at times this season. But Johnson with her fourth kill. McKimmy's got five, so the kills have been there. And that one misses down the line. Point for the Hawks. Back to serve is Breeley Smith, number 11. Breeley is a junior. Short dug out nicely by Schultz. Tip coming. Reagan waiting for it. Bump set out to Johnson. Haley will have to push it in the middle. Twarling steps up. Swing coming from Toof. Toof off the block, covered by Riley Schultz. Now out to Johnson. Haley winds up off the button net. Never got over. Point to the Hawks. Towson unable to handle the serve. And an ace for the Hawks ties it up 9-9. And that is Brigley Smith yet again with the ace and a tie game, 9-9. Johnson there that time. Taylor comes in, tips, drops it in. Trinity Taylor adjusts on the fly and sneaks it in. We've got a sub coming here as Brenna's going to check in. Trinity's got three kills. Brenna had to serve. Brenna to Spicer. Set coming to Toof. Toof off the block. Mustangs get there, but unable to get it up. Effort was there, but just couldn't quite save it. Point to Hay Springs. Tobias in the net, point back to Gordon Rushville. Haley Johnson to serve. Johnson goes back row, Spicer waiting for it. Tooth will punch it across. Schultz waiting for it, good pass from Schultz. Now Towson will push, Twarling waiting for it. Swing coming here for Gabby Twarling. Twarling off the block, dug by Towson. Trinity sends the ball over. Now Twarling lines up again. This time Schultz waiting for it. Reagan Schultz with the tip. Oh, off the, off the rafters. It falls in. Point for GR, a little hometown bounce. As those rafters come into play every now and then in volleyball. Of course, dual purpose gyms. 
You've got a couple different sports being played here, so you kind of have some obstacles to work with. Free ball for the Mustangs here. And Trinity Taylor in the net. Oops, sorry about that. Coach Campbell tells Reagan, we got to have more room. As that set got a little too tight. Now we got it out to Towson. Towson with the push, covered by the Hawks. Swing coming from Twarling, and it's a big block for the Mustangs. Taylor and Towson over there. McKimmy checks in for Trinity. 13-11, Mustangs with the slim lead. Tobias in, into the rafters again. Good recovery by Samantha Toof. Now, Brenna will set, covered by Spicer on the McKimmy, McKimmy swing. Now, Twarling blocked. Up by the Mustangs. Now Towson will wind up Sky into the net. Point Hay Springs. And an ace for Tooth. Mustangs unable to get there. Tied up 13-13 as Samantha continues her service for the Hawks. Johnson there for that one. A little roll here from McKimmy and a miss hit. Give McKimmy the kill. Fourteen thirteen as Grover's back in for Hag. Back to serve is Reagan Schultz. Schultz lets it rip. Right to Spicer. Smith is going to get the kill. We're going to give a lift to Grover. Jaslyn Smith, senior for the Hawks. Coach Merritt, that one sails out of bounds, 15-14. Mustangs and Hawks playing tight here, second set. Hawks won the first one, 25-23, so no surprise that we are tight again here. Towson, a little bit of a changeup covered by Tobiasen. Smith into the net. Mustangs get a two-point lead, 16-14. Towson. Tough up there for the Hawks. It'll not get over the net. 17-14 now. Mustangs now extending out a bit. Down it goes. Towson off the net. Ace for Sky. Timeout, Coach Merritt. Good timeout here from Coach as she senses the momentum. Switching a bit as the Mustangs now up 18 to 14. Broadcast has officially reached three hours. Oh, I can't sit this long. Ooh, all right, let's get stretched out and get ready to go here. Grocery Mart, your locally owned hometown grocery store, is proud to support the Gordon Rushfield volleyball team. Stop down today to pick up all your grocery needs, including fresh meats and produce. Grocery Mart is open seven days a week at 228 North Main Street in Gordon. Sky Townsend back to serve. Just got an ace. That time Tobiasen. Ooh, nice save by Haysbrink. Man, can they scramble? McKimmy adjusts. Again, that one missed that time, though. AJ had the right idea, but just missed the line. Point to the Hawks.
Johnson with the big swing, dug out nicely by Twarling. McKimmy winds up, hits it too high. Point to the Hawks. Spicer to serve now for and that one goes out of bounds. Good read there by Schultz, the freshman. Mustangs get the serve back in a point, 19-16. And McKimmy with the air. Grover winds up, can she have enough? Nope, missed the back line, 19-18 now on the miss hit. Mustangs are letting the Hawks creep back into it, 19-18, had a four point lead, now it's only one. Mustangs saved the free ball there. Good defense there as Towson's waiting for it. Now set out to Johnson, Haley winds up, Haley Sends it down, Haley Johnson with the kill. Five kills now for Johnson, six kills for McKimmy. <laughs> the ball went in the corner and a little girl took it. She ran around the corner with it, that's kind of funny. She's like, hey, that's my volleyball, bring it back, let me have it. Here comes Brenna Hag. Brenna checks in for Grover and she'll serve. Brenna lets it rip. Back row to Twarling. Set coming, swing. Brenna waiting for that one with the dig. Now set outside to Johnson. Haley with the hot hand off the block, into the net, tight, 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 tight. Hay Springs tiptoes and saves it. Taylor, a little bit of a change up, down it goes. Trinity Taylor with the swing and the kill. She's got four. Mustang lead is back to three. And Brenna Hag still serving. Definitely not comfortable as Hay Springs has shown the ability to wipe out three pretty quick. Mustangs are going to look for another one here, extend it to four. Now Toof winds up too long. Point Gordon Rushville, good job on the back row there of letting it go. And now Brenna will serve. Twirling with the dig, Mustang lead is four. Into the net, was it blocked? They're gonna say it was blocked, so the play goes on. Now Johnson winds up, Haley missed the back line. Point to Hay Springs. And it's gonna be a point for the Hawks. Off the serve, Tobiasen. Timeout, Coach Campbell and the Mustangs. 22 to 20 is your score. Mustangs clinging to a slim lead here in the second set. At the First National Bank of Gordon, we are invested in our customers' financial success. Celebrating over 130 years of service and commitment to our communities, we make all decisions in-house to meet your needs. Stop in to visit with one of our new account reps or lending officers today. Go Mustangs. The certified public accounting firm of Gardner, Lautzenheiser, and Ryan PC wishes good luck to the Mustangs. Visit with CPA Sarah Rick Garner, Mike Coombs, or any of the professional staff at 216 South Main and Gordon. Or call 282-0842 for all your tax, payroll, and accounting needs. Go Mustangs. Sides of Milburn and Rushville is your dealer for Montana Sheds, Bad Boy Mowers, and they can service all makes and models of automobiles. No matter if you need a new mower, a new building, or some work done on your vehicle, they have you covered. Call Chris Heiser today, 327-2472. So Topiason is serving for the Hawks. The lead was four, now it's two. The senior trying to get her team back in this. As Schultz will set out to Johnson. Haley lets it rip and down it goes, Haley Johnson with another kill. That's what the Mustangs needed right there from their sophomore. Six kills for Haley, as the Mustangs are two points away from forcing a 
third and de decisive set. Martins checks in, freshman. Johnson with a good serve, dug nicely by Spicer. Swing coming, that's, that's down. Point for the Hawks, that was 13. Laney Smith, Laney with her first kill. 23-21 now as Smith will go back to serve. Brenna Hag with a nice pass. Taylor winds up, blocked and down. Point to Hay Springs, 23-22. Hawks within one. Mustangs trying to stave off a sweep here. Short, oh my gosh, it touched the top of the net. Nicely done. Martin's left-handed. Covered. Toof off the block. Mustangs are there. Set out to Martins again. Martins is going to tip it. And it's going to be a bit of a free ball here. Back row to Johnson now. Set out to Taylor. Taylor winds up. Off the rafters it goes. Two hits. Kill for Trinity Taylor. Holy moly, was there some velo on that one from Taylor as the sophomore let it rip. In comes McKimmy. She's got Martins and Schultz, Reagan in the front row. Back row here. Set coming, Toof winds into it. She pushes. Schultz will set out to Martins. Martins with the roll shot, covered by Twarling. McKimmy over the top. Okay, what, what do we got going on here? Well, McKimmy, okay. So Gordon Rushville wins the set. Okay, I'm, I was confused there by the official. 25-22, Mustangs get the win. They were saying that Hay Springs was in the net. I thought maybe they were gonna say Gordon Rushville was in the net, which would have changed the outcome of that, obviously. Instead, the Mustangs hang on for a 20 5-22 win. So here we go. Winner take all. Third set. Coming to you right now. Okay. Let's get everything squared up here. For the Mustangs, McKimmy has seven kills. Haley Johnson has six. Trinity Taylor has five. Sky Towson has two. Reagan Schultz has one. Schultz also has two aces. And Towson has an ace. McKimmy now with 12 kills total on the day. And Haley Johnson with nine. Trinity Taylor with seven kills on the day. Towson has one ace this match, six the previous, so give her seven for the day. All right, we'll get everything squared up here for the Hawks. Molly Spicer has two kills. Breely Smith has a kill. Samantha Tooth, I'm sorry, Molly Spicer has two aces. Breely Smith has an ace. Jaslyn and Laney Smith have a kill apiece. Ashley Tobiasen with a kill. And Samantha Toof with two kills for the Hawks. So the Mustangs will come out with the same starting lineup as they had before. Taylor's in the back row. She'll be replaced by the libero. Excuse me. Late night. Well over three hours on this broadcast here today. I'm gonna go over and get some grub at the Willow Tree Festival after this. Looking forward to that. Gonna grab my camera and go capture some of the action. And then I'm gonna go home and watch a little Husker football, I think. Schultz able to get it across. Nice job by Reagan. 
Push coming from Twirling and nobody home. Down it goes. So Gabby Twirling gets her first kill of the match. Johnson. Swing coming from McKimmy. McKimmy on the slide. Spicer covers. Nobody was looking for it. It dropped in. So Spicer gets a kill. And she, her dig led to a point for the Hawks. Grover, nice dig there. McKinley Grover doing some back row digging, serve receiving, and doing a nice job. Swing in the middle coming, blocked by the Mustangs. Tip coming. McKimmy tips it right back. Spicer waiting for it. Swing in the middle again. Another block, and down it goes. Towson and McKimmy team up for that one. Point Gordon Rushville. Back goes Reagan. There she goes to the back left part of your screen. And ace for Schultz. I uh, like that. Logan Derringer, fresh off a win last night, is down there doing the cheering. Good for him. Supporting his schoolmates and make it two in a row for Schultz. So Schultz with back-to-back -back aces. She's got four in this match. Mustangs retake the lead 3-2 here early on third set. That one's short though. Hawks get it back and get the point. Service errors are tough to stomach for Coach Campbell. Well, and Coach Merritt. Both talk quite a bit about their service, receiving and serving efficiency. That one's gonna drop in though. Mustang's unable to get there. Serve receiving and Getting serves in bounds are a big part of high school volleyball. Big part of all volleyball, actually. McKimmy had to kind of adjust, sends a little free ball roller over. Tobias and winds up. That one's long. Out of bounds. Gordon Rushville with the point. I gave a wrong point there. There we go. 4 4 is your score. Towson to serve. Sky to Spicer. Set outside of Tob Tobias and again, and that didn't even get over the net, but it didn't matter anyway. Really looked like it looked like it didn't get over the net. Now Towson McKimmy hit it off of Smith's head, but she's able to keep it up. AJ really controlling that net now. Johnson with the swing, dug out by Spicer. Tobiasen with the tip, tip back by the Mustangs. Now tip back to GR. Grover lets it rip and just missed the line in McKinley. Spicer serving Towson with the dig. And good dig there by Tobiasen on the Johnson swing. Now free ball coming. And McKimmy sends it back. Now back to the Mustangs. Set coming, swing for Johnson. Johnson off the block. Covered by Twarling. Mustangs able to save it. And they can't decide who to get it. Goes into the net. That one went in the net. Point back to Gordon Rushville. 6-6. Six, six. McKimmy back to serve. Down it goes. Ace for A.J. McKimmy. A.J.'s first ace of this match. She had one in the previous match. Give her two for the day. Kimmy been making her presence known. Oh, that one hits the net. 
Going to be an error. Lead goes back to Taylor with the nice swing, but an even better dig from Spicer. Now twirling with the push. Towson got caught in between. It'll be a lift and a point for the Hawks. Johnson, Schultz now. Taylor winds up. Taylor with the tip, covered up by Hay Springs. Swing coming, Johnson with the bump. Tipped over by Schultz, covered by Hay Springs. Tooth gonna swing now. Back row, Reagan there. Set out to, from Johnson, or, and down it goes. Mustangs unable to corral it. A Little bit of luck for the Hawks there on their dig. Schultz had to go get that one, and Grover tipped it over. Smart play by McKinley. Two finds up. That one's long. Out of bounds. Point back to Gordon Rushville. Sub coming in here. Brenna Hags in. Brenna doing a nice job at the service line today. Spicer there. Swing from Tooth into the net. I don't think it got over the net. It didn't point Gordon Rushville. Mustangs tied up 9-9. And an ace as it goes off a of Tooth. Brenna. Gets her first ace of this match, her fourth on the day. Tra Taylor. Wow, good job by the Hawks. What good hand control. Schultz tried the tip, and Toof was a little bit late. It hits the floor, but, man, the Hawks can scramble. I'll tell you that much. Those young ladies, it looks like it's going to hit the floor, and they're – Somehow able to get it up. Well done there by the Hawks, but Mustangs do get the point. Brenna Hag goes back row. Twarling and a teammate get into it a little bit there, but they're able to get across. Good dig by Towson there. Taylor winds up. Twarling with the dig. Twarling, miss hit it. Point, Gordon Rushville. Timeout. Hay Springs here. 12 to nine, the Mustangs lead in the third and decisive set. Okay. Big thanks to all my sponsors who Help me do this broadcast, including Kreitman Trucking. They are a proud supporter of the Gordon Rushville Mustangs on the court, on the field, in the classroom, and on the stage. Like anything in life, hard work and dedication ends in success. Good luck tonight, Mustangs from Kreitman Trucking. The Gordon Livestock Market would like to wish the Mustangs good luck this season. With weekly cattle sales on Tuesdays and horse sales as advertised, Gordon Livestock has all your livestock needs covered. Call Tom or Patsy Tinas at 282-1171 to discuss your options today. Swing coming, blocked by the Mustangs. Schultz will bump set out to Johnson. Haley winds up off the block, covered by Spicer. Tip coming, Brenna Hag is there. Nice job, Trailer winds up. Trinity at the line or at the net, knocking it around. Bad pass there and it goes into the net. 
you don't realize it when you say Trinity Taylor's name, how hard it is to get it, like, all the way out with, like, adding an extra R. And I don't really want to call her trailer. That would be very bad. But I'm, it's hard to say when you're in the moment. I'll tell you that much. Tip coming here. Towson hits the floor, but it's going to fall in for a Hawks point. Thirteen ten now. Towson for that one. Now Johnson will wind up. Haley lets it rip off the block, off the stage, or off the defender, off the stage. Kill for Johnson. Keep on saying off the block. Off the defender. It'll be a tip either way. Point Gordon Rushville. Fourteen ten is your score now. And that ball goes in the net. A little bit sloppy now by the Hawks as it's 15-10. Oh, and Schultz has it go off her hands and down it goes. So the scrambling pays off for the Hawks once again. be a point for Hay Springs. Into the net and down it goes. Point Gordon Rushville. Sixteen eleven. Riley Schultz to serve. Schultz to Tobias in nice dig there. Oh, tough pass. Hits the floor. Mustangs now lead by six. Good dig there by Brenna Hag. Now Towson will push. It won't clear the net. Point for Hay Springs. Martins is going to check in for Sky Towson. Oh, Mustangs with a bad pass there. Point for the Hawks now. They're within four. Swing coming from McKimmy. McKimmy with a full head of steam. Knocked around and dropped in as it goes off the ceiling. Point for the Mustangs. I'm not sure if you give McKimmy the kill there. I love it. If you look at the top of your screen there, there's a young man who's got his rope. He's practicing being a cowboy up there. Never know what you might see in the gym. Down it goes, Reagan Schultz. With an ace, Mustangs lead is six again. Mustangs trying to put away this one for their third win of the season. They're gonna need six points, but the Hawks are not gonna go down easy. Schultz lets that rip. Swing from Twarling is down. Gabby Twarling with the kill off the Mustang block and into the floor. That's only her second kill though. Mustangs have done a good job holding her to not much, twirling the talented sophomore from Hay Springs. You're gonna see a lot of her for the next few years. McKimmy winds up, AJ off of Spicer, good dig. Twirling able to push it back. Good pass from Riley Schultz. Now Martins is gonna wind up, the lefty drops it in. Martins with her first kill. A Little bit of side spin, dropped it in there. Well done by the freshman. Now Martins is gonna serve. Emma had some early success at the Hemingford try. Now we're going to have a timeout. We're going to talk about it here for a second. Gordon Chiropractic and Dr. John Friesman have been helping student-athletes and residents of the Panhandle for over 20 years. 
Call Gordon Chiropractic at 282-1154 to make an appointment for all your chiropractic and acupuncture needs. Dr. Friesman and the staff wish the best of luck to the Mustangs competing tonight or this morning. Gordon Chiropractic wants to be a part of your team to get you back into your game, the game of life. Big thanks to my Star Club members, Larry and Danita Turnbull from Gordon, Nebraska, Vern and Sharon Johnson in Geneva, Nebraska, Dale and Shirley Atkinson in Gordon, Nebraska, and Lori Liggett from Gordon, Nebraska, and several sponsors who would like to remain anonymous. Thank you so much. Kristen Turman is cheering for the Hawks. Thanks for tuning in, Kristen. We're big fans of the Hawks, too. I root for the Hawks just as much as I root for the Mustangs. I'm really anxious to get over and watch the Hawks football team play. I love me some six-man football. I get to go this week. I'm really excited to go take some pictures at the Hawks football game. And, of course, enjoy watching the volleyball girls play also. Free ball coming here for the Mustangs. It's dug out by Schultz, set outside to Johnson. Haley off the block and down. Big block from the Hawks to get the point. Had the pleasure of coaching Logan DeCoste this summer in football and Hunter, I mean baseball and Hunter McDonald, both Hawks football players. Have to get over there and watch those boys play. As Johnson will wind up and down it goes. Haley Johnson with another kill. Let's see Logan quarterback that team. I think Hunter's been playing a little bit. Watch Gabe Minkin run. All those boys, Gabe Varvel. To get over and see him on Friday. Swing coming here from the Hawks, covered by McKimmy. Schultz will set to Taylor. Taylor finds the floor. Just on the edge of your screen there, Trinity Taylor with the kill. Six kills for Taylor, and give her eight on the day. Mustangs looking to secure the win against a pesky Hawks team who's been right with the Mustangs all day long. Of course, Mustangs are C2, Hawks are D2. So Hawks, the much smaller school. McKimmy gets the dig. Johnson goes back row. Twarling waiting for it. Nice play there from Gabby. Now another free ball tip, and Taylor hits it twice. A little aggressive there by Taylor, but you'd rather have her go after it than watch it hit the floor, that's for sure. Ball in the middle to Martins. Martins has to go off her hands, out of bounds. Ace for the Hawks. That's Brigley Smith. That's her second ace. More on the air of Martins than the ace, but it's still an ace for Smith. Johnson there that time. Set outside this time to Grover. Grover winds up. Blocked by the Hawks. Free ball coming for the Mustangs. Martins in the middle with the up. Johnson winds up. Haley. Off of Twarling, good dig. Tough player into the net, point Gordon Rushville. That was a really good effort by Gabby Twarling as she laid out full extension. Of course, her older brother, Chaz, graduated last year, was an outstanding running back, basketball player, and long jumper for the Hawks. Now it's Gabby's turn in the spotlight as she's going to have a big role on this Hay Springs volleyball team. That one's into the net. Gordon Rushville now at match point with a six or seven point lead with Brenna Hag, the senior, on the service line. Mustangs looking to sweep their home triangular. Set outside to Toof. Toof lets a rip off the block. Brenna waiting for it. Reagan runs out and gets it. Johnson will bump it back corner. Spicer there, set from Smith. Tipped over, Brenna Hag there for it. Bump set into the middle. Nice set from Schultz. Oh man, that just about ended it there, but Twarling waiting for the dig. Martins with the dig that time. Taylor in the middle, winds up. Wow, Twarling again. Off the rafters into the net. Gordon Rushville's gonna win it. But tip your cap to the Hawks from Hay Springs. They played their tails off. Coach Merritt is gonna have an outstanding season with those young ladies as their record drops to five and two. Mustangs improved to three and five. And I believe my next broadcast will be on Friday afternoon. So I'm gonna go over and watch the Hawks play football. Watch the Hawks play some volleyball, hopefully. 
hurry back over here to Gordon Rushville for a volleyball broadcast as they welcome in Bennett County for, uh, for their homecoming volleyball match. And then we'll, we'll pack it up, and Mike and I will be back on the press box for the football game, which will start at 6 o'clock between the Mustangs and the Warriors. So busy next Friday. You guys have a great week. And I will talk to you on Friday. Have a good day. Have a great weekend.